Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People in Konoha. Get time fruit at the beginning. Chapter 51. Chiba Chingshi stood on the tree trunk and looked at these people with a faint smile on his face. As soon as he received Sarutobi's order, he immediately set off from Konoha. As soon as he arrived at the camp, he knew that Dayu Sarutobi had not obeyed the village's orders, and ran to seek revenge on Rain Shinobi by himself. After listening to what happened to them, he immediately felt that something was wrong. No matter how you look at it, it looks like a trap specially set for Sarutobi Dayu. It seemed that it was designed to lure him here. The more Chiba Chingshi thought about it, the more he felt that this was extremely possible. As the son of Third Hokage, Sarutobi Dayu is not bad in Konoha, and he is also a well-known figure in Konoha's younger generation. If Rain Shinobi can kill him on the front line, it will definitely deal a big blow to Konoha's morale. So Chiba Chingshi saw Rain Shinobi's thoughts and strategies at a glance. Chiba Chingshi. I didn't expect that it was you who came to save me. Looking at Konoha Kilin, who was a few years younger than him, there was a trace of complicated look in his eyes. To most people outside, Konoha Kilin's identity is a mystery. But in the eyes of some of Konoha's high-level officials, they have always known the identity of Konoha Kilin. And this naturally includes Serutobi Dayu, the son of Third Hokage. As for Chiba Chingshi, he has always had the idea of secretly competing with him in his heart. Because of this name, he had heard it from Third Hokage more than once. In Third Hokage's heart, Chiba Chingshi seems to be better than his own son. He knows the existence of Chiba Chingshi, but there is not much communication between the two people. But since he's here, at least he and the people around him can guarantee their lives. These people in front of them are naturally at an absolute disadvantage in a head-to-head -head confrontation. But Konoha Kilin is best known for his speed. Presumably there should be no problem for him to escape with a few of himself. Chiba Chingshi. Listen to me, there are at least a hundred people here, and there are at least ten people in Jonan. You take us out of here now, and we will discuss the follow-up battle plan after we go back. Quote. I guess the most important thing in this situation is to ensure our safety first. Sarutobi Dayu hurriedly asked him. But Chiba Chingshi listened to his words and didn't reply him. Chiba Chingshi just shook his head with a faint smile and said, Rain Shinobi, dot not worth mentioning. There's no need to go back, I'll just deal with them here. After listening to his words, a trace of absurdity rose in the hearts of everyone present. Chiba Chingshi this guy. He actually wanted to kill more than a hundred rain shinobi on the opposite side by himself. You must know that these one hundred people are not ordinary people who have no power to restrain chickens. Being able to come to the front line to participate in the war, these people are all elites at their stage. Sarutobi Dayu's face became even colder, and he yelled at him, Chiba Chingshi. How dare you disobey the order? I am the first commander on the front line. Do you know what the consequences will be if you do this? You will kill us everyone will be sent to hell. Sarutobi Dayu never thought of it, he thought he was crazy enough. But he didn't expect Qian Yi Xingxi to be even more arrogant than him. Only then did he feel how others felt when facing him. He only hoped that Chiba Qingxi would not go his own way like him, otherwise he would definitely fall into Rain Shinobi's trap. Even the faces of the more than 100 enemies facing him showed a hint of anger at this time. I didn't expect that our harvest is not only the son of Third Hokage, but the head of Konoha Kilin is also ours today. Hideo Fukuda stared excitedly at Chiba Chingshi in front of him. He had already figured it out, as long as he could kill the two of them here, it would definitely be a huge blow to Konoha. At that time, the pressure on Lord Hanzo will also be reduced, and he will be one step closer to Lord Hanzo. Chiba Chingshi. Dot you don't. Sarutobi Dayu stopped abruptly in the middle of his speech. At this time, Chiba Chingshi had already appeared by his side and patted his shoulder and said, It's all right, I have everything, don't worry, leave it to me. This kid, even if you are some so-called Konoha Kilin, you shouldn't. One of the rain shinobi, Jonan, immediately pulled out his kanai and said coldly to Chiba Chingshi. Immediately afterwards, his pupils shrank suddenly, watching Chiba Chingshi's figure disappear in front of him. What a speed. He watched Chiba Chingshi slash at him, and immediately parried the blow with both hands holding kanai. Tear. 
He was cut in half by Chiba Chingchi like a piece of paper with the kanai in his hand. A thin line of blood split from the middle of his forehead. The whole person's body split in two just like that. Looking at Chiba Chingchi in front of him with lightning flashing all over his body, everyone, especially Rain Shinobi who was present, didn't even react. Killing one of them Jonan with a single blow, what a concept. After a moment of panic, their hearts were filled with anger again. At this moment, with most of them surrounding him, Chiba Chingchi dared to attack first. Chiba Chingchi's eyes were indifferent, and his whole body was bathed in thunder. The whole person even looks like a god in the sky, which is hard to look at directly. This. I may not be able to stop this knife. Seeing Chiba Chingchi beheading an enemy Jonan quickly, the first reaction in Sarutobi Daiyu's mind at this time was not the surprise that he might be saved. He was comparing the gap between him and Chiba Chingchi at the moment in his mind. He found that even if he wasn't poisoned, he still might not be able to stop Chiba Chingchi's knife. Chiba Chingchi's knife was too fast, completely exceeding the limit reaction of the human body. Even though Sarutobi Daiyu widened his eyes and could see his movements clearly, he knew that he still couldn't stop this move. Seeing his movements clearly and being able to keep up with his speed are two completely different things. As the gap between is so big, and the ape demon standing aside to protect him was also surprised by Chiba Chingchi's speed. Are Konoha's juniors so strong now? He and Sarutobi Hirazan have fought side by side for countless years. But he has never seen a ninja who can match the speed of Chiba Chingchi at this moment. Stimulating body cells with thunder chakra is a cultivation method that Chiba Chingchi came up with. Usually he can use this trick to stimulate the activity of his own cells and promote his own cultivation. And this trick can also be used in battle. Chiba Chingchi, who used this trick, thought that his strength could be significantly improved. Originally using the time fruit, his speed was already fast enough. But if he re-stimulates his muscle cells with thunder chakra, his speed can be raised to another level. Kill, kill him. He is alone, what are you afraid of? With so many of us, are we still afraid that he will fail alone? Yes. Kill him, don't be afraid. All the rain shinobi around him shouted loudly at this time. No matter how powerful Chiba Chingchi is, they are only one person, but they have nearly a hundred people. And these one hundred people are not a mob, they have all been trained in tactics. Another rain shinobi village ninja made mudras with both hands at Chiba Chingchi, while several people next to him threw their shurikens at him. A huge water curtain appeared in the air and rushed towards Chiba Chingchi, and other ninjas on the side threw, thunder spears, into the water curtain one after another. The combination of water-type ninjutsu and thunder-type ninjutsu brings the combined power of ninjutsu to its ultimate level. This is the role of ninja array. On the battlefield, the effects of these people who cooperate with each other are not simply added, but can produce a multiplied effect. The ninjutsu performed by each individual is only C or B rank. But the ninjutsu used by this group of ninja squads is superimposed, and the power is almost as powerful as that of S-level ninjutsu. Chiba Chingchi looked at the scene of the natural disaster rushing towards him, and he really didn't show the slightest panic. At this moment, he still looked indifferent. He said softly, I know that one by one is not my opponent, so now join together and want to directly and forcefully defeat me. There was a slight smile on the corner of his mouth, it's a pity, the idea is very good, but it doesn't work for me. Facing such an exaggerated scene, he even had at least 10 solutions in his mind but he was wondering what method would be most suitable for him. After a little thought, he seemed to have thought of some good idea. Use this trick. After all, I have practiced for so long, and I have never used this trick. The complexions of the Konoha shinobi behind him were even paler. Some people had already knelt on the ground, muttering to themselves incessantly, it's over. It's all over now. It seems that we won't be able to go back alive. Ninjutsu of this scale is completely released on the battlefield against ninja troops. But the crazy rain shinobi in front of him actually used this trick against Chiba Chingchi and a few of them. This completely took the last of their morale away. And Sarutobi Daiyu stared at Chiba Chingchi without saying a word. What is this guy trying to do? He knew that Chiba Chingchi could not be a brainless person. But with a ninjutsu of this scale, he actually stood there without dodging or evading. 
Could it be that he wants to rely on himself to face the next step? After thinking for a long time, he still couldn't figure out what Chiba Chingxi wanted to do. If it was him himself, then he thinks that he is already at the point where there is no life left. There is absolutely no possibility of turning the tables and surviving. While they were still thinking about it, Rain Shinobi's sudden voice interrupted the thoughts in their minds. How? Dot how is it possible? He actually blocked it, what kind of monster is this? At this moment, Chiba Chingxi's body was covered with thunder, and there were waves of frightening breaths pouring out of him. The water curtain all over the sky split in two from his side, and there seemed to be a vacuum around him. Sixth gate, the scene gate is open. Chiba Chingxi whispered in a voice that only he could hear. Standing where he was, no matter how fierce the rushing water and lightning were, there was nothing around him. Is this guy still human? Can we really defeat this monster? Looking at the safe and sound Chiba Chingxi, the rain shinobi on the opposite side raised their own questions one after another. In their imagination, Chiba Chingxi should have already become a corpse at this moment. But the gap between reality and their imagination is so big. While increasing his chakra output, Hideo Fukuda gritted his teeth and shouted loudly, Don't stop. Keep releasing your ninjutsu. I don't believe that so many people can't take down Amir Konoha Kilin. As long as we persevere, victory will definitely belong to us. After listening to his words, all the rain shinobi present felt as if they had taken a reassurance in their hearts. They also believe that as long as they are human, they must have limits. No matter how strong the Chiba Chingchi in front of him is, he can't be stronger than the legendary tailed beast, right? So all the rain shinobi gritted their teeth and desperately released the ninjutsu they were good at, and blasted at Chiba Chingchi. But no matter how hard they tried, Chiba Chingchi seemed to have an invisible protective layer around them. These ninjutsu rushing towards him seemed to encounter some obstacles, and were bounced away one after another. It's not my style to be passive and beaten all the time. For the sake of your seriousness, I will give you a trick too. Chiba Chingxi's fists instantly turned into countless afterimages, bombarding the air wave after wave. With his shot, countless huge hot fireballs appeared in the air. Towards the peacock, the rain shinobi stared at Chiba Chingxi's move with staring eyes, and they seemed to have forgotten how to fight back. Fireballs all over the sky fell towards them from top to bottom like meteorites. The fireball hit the water-style ninjutsu they used, and there was even water vapor in the air. Not surprisingly, Chiba Chingxi's jutsu is stronger than their ninjutsu. Ah! The rain shinobi screamed horribly as the fireball passed through their ninjutsu and hit their bodies. Probably only these jonins are slightly better, they have already dodged when the fireball is about to hit them. The rest of Chunin and Jenin did not have such good luck and strength. Those who were hit by the peacock, their bodies were scorched black after a while, like ashes after being burned. This guy. Look at the other Chunin and Jenin who were hit by Chiba Chingxi toward the peacock. The faces of these Jonins from Rain Shinobi village all showed a strong anger. Their hearts are bleeding. You must know that these Chunin and Jenin are elites selected by themselves. They represent the future of Rain Shinobi Village and the hope of Rain Shinobi Village. Although they talk about looking down on Konoha, and think that Konoha is similar to their real strength. But only they know the situation in their village. Every ninja of Rain Shinobi Village who comes to the front line to participate in the war is an extremely precious resource. It is different from Konoha Shinobi Village, which has a vast land and abundant resources. Compared with them, it took a lot of time and energy for the resources of Rain Shinobi Village to train these ninjas. But at this moment, Chiba Chingxi's move made all the time and energy they spent wasted. Why are you standing still without making a move? Get rid of this guy quickly, otherwise we won't be afraid of his attack if this continues, and the Chunin Genin behind won't be able to stand it for long. Hideo Fukuda gritted his teeth and roared at the rest of the people. And after his reminder, the few remaining people realize that Chiba Chingxi must be dealt with at this time. As long as he is resolved, everything will be fine. After saying these words, several people immediately displayed their numbers and rushed in front of Chiba Chingxi. Fukuda Hideo is best at wind style. Wind style. Great breakthrough. With his explosive drink, there was a real explosion in the air instantly. The air in front of Chiba Chingxi collapsed visibly with the naked eye. Earth style. 
Thorns of Earth, and another Jonan next to Hideo Fukuda used one-handed quick seal, directly using the Earth-style ninjutsu he is best at. The stones on the ground surged, suddenly, 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 turned into several spikes, and rushed towards Chiba Chingshi. Water. Fire. Thunder. The rest of the three lines of ninjutsu were also executed by the other Jonan from Rain Shinobi village, blasting at Chiba Chingshi. Looking at the colorful ninjutsu of Madara in front of me. There was indifference in Chiba Chingshi's eyes, only a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, and he looked at them with a half smile. In the face of absolute strength, the number of people is meaningless. The gap is the gap. The gap between me and you is like the gap between the sky and the ground. It seems that you don't understand this truth. As soon as the voice fell, Chiba Chingshi's figure disappeared from the spot. Thunder flash. After a flash of thunder, he appeared in front of Hideo Fukuda. His figure appeared suddenly, then disappeared suddenly, appearing together with the thunder light. Seeing Chiba Chingshi appearing in front of him from a distance of several meters in an instant, Hideo Fukuda's pupils instantly shrank to the size of needlepoints. He found that Chiba Chingshi's speed was much faster than before. They could barely capture the speed of Chiba Chingshi just now with the naked eye. And at this time, they realized that they couldn't see his speed clearly at all. This shows what? It shows that the speed Chiba Chingshi used just now is not his full speed. His true speed may be far beyond anyone's imagination. Impossible. Impossible. The strength of Konoha Kilin recorded in the information is not so strong at all. Hideo Fukuda roared inwardly with a look of disbelief. He didn't know that just a few days ago, when Chiba Chingshi passed by Rain Shinobi Village, he had already fought against the half-god Hanzo in their hearts. There was no tie between the two. Otherwise, he might have retreated with these subordinates at this moment. Of course, there is another possibility that he would not choose to retreat even if he knew this information. Seeing is believing, hearing is believing. Many people don't believe in things they haven't seen with their own eyes. And Hideo Fukuda happens to be such a person. No, I must keep him here, and I cannot let him return to Konoha smoothly. Konoha already has a white fang. They can't let them have a second wooden yibaya. Otherwise, it will definitely have a huge impact on Lord Hanzo's future plans, and I can't let this kind of accident happen. After a brief shock, Hideo Fukuda reacted again. The existence of Chiba Chingshi has too much influence on their plans. He clearly knew how terrifying a speed ninja like Chiba Chingshi would be once he appeared on the battlefield. If any force has a ninja of his type, it will definitely occupy a favorable position. Chiba Chingshi will be like a battlefield harvester on the battlefield, invincible. Go to hell. With a roar, Hideo Fukuda drew his ninja sword at Chiba Chingshi and rushed over. Wind style. Impatience technique. With a spiral airflow, the shuriken struck Chiba Chingshi's back from all directions. Hideo Fukuda has decided that even if he sacrifices his own life, he must not let Chiba Chingshi go. Looking at Chiba Chingshi's young face, his heart Chunin couldn't help but feel a chill. If Chiba Chingshi is given a few more years to grow, what height will he reach? Could it be another ninjutsu god, first Hokage? Although Hideo Fukuda has never seen Senju Hashirama, nor has he really experienced Senju Hashirama's strength live. But from the rumors and Master Hanzo's dictation, he can fully guess what kind of terrifying person first Hokage is. With the power of one person, he overwhelmed other big countries and bowed his head to Konoha to sign a treaty. This is completely incredible in the eyes of Hideo Fukuda. Before, he always thought it was just a rumor. The reason why Konoha is able to achieve its current status may be that it has adopted other methods and strategies. But the appearance of Chiba Chingshi made him deny his previous thoughts. Perhaps the strength and rumors about First Hokage are true. It is entirely possible for the entire world to bow down and bow down with the power of one person. He once thought that their leader Hanzo-sama was already the pinnacle of the ninja world, and it was impossible for anyone to reach a higher level than him. If you want to blame, blame you for being Konoha's ninja. Konoha Kilin. Hideo Fukuda is now only one step away from Chiba Chingshi. With just one more step forward, he was able to send his own shuriken into Chiba Chingshi's chest, piercing his heart. What kind of reason gave you such an illusion, that made you feel that you could cause harm to me? 
Chiba Chingshi raised his head indifferently, staring at Hideo Fukuda with a ferocious expression and said. A quick purple light flashed, and the body of the person in front of him was chopped off like a tree trunk. Land of rain John and Hideo Fukuda, death. If you hesitate, you will lose, and if you are weak, you will die. The stronger Chiba Chingshi's own strength is, the deeper he feels about this. Looking at Hideo Fukuda who was cut in half by himself, there was no wave in his heart. Sometimes he even wondered if he really was a born executioner. He is obviously a person who has traveled from modern society, but it seems that when he killed someone for the first time, there was nothing uncomfortable in his heart. Even Hitaki Sakuma was surprised by this for a long time. You must know that even when he performed the mission for the first time and killed the enemy village ninja, he didn't sleep well on the first night. But when Chiba Chingshi killed for the first time, there was no expression on his face. Are you, also longing for death? Chiba Chingshi turned his head and whispered to the remaining Jonin from the Land of Rain. But, stop looking down on people. Let's go together. He performed such large-scale and powerful ninjutsu continuously by himself. I don't believe how much physical strength he still has. One of the Rain Shinobi villages Jonin gritted his teeth and said fiercely. His words seemed to make the rest of them find their backbone. Hideo Fukuda was the commander of their operation this time. When he died, several people were thrown into chaos instantly, not knowing how to proceed with the next operation. And look at this trend, the hundred elite ninjas they brought over this time. Except for the few Jonin who are still alive, half of those Chunin and Jenin are still alive. This battle can be regarded as their heavy losses. If not completely wiped out, it's not much better. The only thing they can be thankful for is that they have already defeated Konoha's advance force before this. As long as we persevere to the end, as long as we kill Konoha Kilin and the son of 3rd Hokage, then this operation, no matter how much we pay, will be worth it. This rain shinobi is still cheering up the morale of the rest of the crowd loudly. It's just that before he finished speaking, a thin red line appeared on his neck. In the eyes of everyone, his whole head came out of the body and was thrown high above the sky. Red blood sprinkled the sky and fell like raindrops. There's so much nonsense. Chiba Chingshi shook Muramasa in his hand, and looked down at his corpse. This, is this guy a devil? Everyone felt a chill in their hearts, they didn't see clearly how Rain Shinobi died just now. In their perception, Chiba Chingshi still stayed where he was standing just now. But less than a second later, another Jonin died among them. This guy's speed is faster. This thought flashed through the minds of all Rain Shinobi at the same time. Although Chiba Chingshi's speed was fast just now, they could barely see clearly. And now they are not much better than those Chunin Jenin behind them. I can't see Chiba Chingshi's movements clearly, and I can't keep up with his speed. Chiba Chingshi was standing in front of them at a distance of less than 2 meters. If you attack him at this time, it is also an optimal attack distance. But these rain shinobi stood in place, neither advancing nor retreating. As Chiba Chingshi glanced at them, they all took a few steps back. So now there is such a weird situation in the field. Chiba Chingshi stands across from these rain shinobi holding a demon purple tachi. But these rain shinobi really don't have the slightest movement and intent to attack. And Sarutobi and Daiyu who were standing aside were even more shocked and speechless. When these ninjas from Rain Shinobi Village formed a ninja formation to attack Chiba Chingshi just now, they didn't have any hope in their hearts. But I didn't expect the peak to turn around. Chiba Chingshi withstood all Rain Shinobi's attacks by himself, and killed them all. Look at the current situation. He even still has the strength to wipe out the remaining Rain Shinobi. At this time, Serutobi Daiyu showed a wry smile with the support of the ape demon. It seems that even 3rd Hokage doesn't necessarily understand Chiba Chingshi's true strength. Otherwise, 3rd Hokage wouldn't have told him that compared with Chiba Chingshi, he was only a little behind in strength. The current Serutobi Daiyu even thinks that even if his father, 3rd Hokage, comes forward in person, he may not be able to win Chiba Chingshi. Chiba Chingshi is already at the forefront of their generation. Go. Kill him, as long as he dies, this battle will be over. We have no chance. Only by killing him can we make up for our losses in this battle. Chiba Chingshi glanced at these rain shinobi cheering him up, 
and a bloodthirsty smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. There was a surge of thunder, and his body disappeared again on the spot. But in the eyes of Sarutobi Dayu and the others, every time thunder surged, countless dense purple sword lights appeared in the air. Every time the purple knife light appeared, it represented the disappearance of a life. Looking at the broken branches and broken arms all over the ground in front of them, even though Chiba Chingshi was their comrade in arms and Konoha's ninja, Sarutobi Dayu and the others couldn't help but feel a deep chill in their hearts. It is too cruel. Terrible. Those who fought against Chiba Chingshi, who died in his hands, there is no one whose body is complete. Either he was cut in half with a knife or his head was chopped off. And Sarutobi Dayu noticed the slight smile hanging from the corner of Chiba Chingshi's mouth. At first he thought that Chiba Chingshi was happy because he won the war. But with every kill Chiba Chingshi made, the smile on his face grew stronger. He, he's not happy because he's going to win. He is enjoying the process of killing these people. Sarutobi Dayu came to a terrible conclusion. This person's murderous nature is too heavy. Seeing this, Sarutobi Dayu also understood that Chiba Chingshi's strength is far above all of them present. He can actually kill these rain shinobi in the simplest way and silently in the first place. But he chose this almost brutal method. While bringing endless fear to these people, it also gave them a glimmer of hope. Sarutobi Dayu decided that after this time, she must not become an enemy with Chiba Chingshi in front of her. Half an hour after Chiba Chingshi's unilateral massacre. All rain shinobi present were killed. In this operation, Chiba Chingshi fought against a hundred rain shinobi alone, and won a big victory. The entire ninja world was shocked. You. When Sarutobi Dayu officially met Chiba Chingshi for the first time, he found that he didn't know what to say. As early as the first time he heard the word Konoha Kilin from someone else, he had already swore to himself that he must let everyone in Konoha know that he is the best ninja among the younger generation. He imagined the scene when he met Chiba Chingshi countless times. But he never thought that meeting Chiba Chingshi for the first time would be like this. His own life was saved by someone he had long regarded as an adversary. Through the battle in front of him, he also knew that Chiba Chingshi's strength was indeed far superior to his. Let's go. Let's go back to our own camp first. I guess you didn't tell the others when you came out. The rest of the people are now worried about your safety. Actually, I don't know your specific whereabouts. I just guessed that you might come to Rain Shinobi to seek revenge from them, so I followed all the way. I didn't expect to be guessed by me. Chiba Chingshi raised his eyebrows and said with a faint smile. He doesn't have a good or bad impression of Serutobi Dayu. When he first knew that Third Hokage had another son besides Serutobi Asuma, he was also slightly surprised. This is never mentioned in the original book. In his impression, Third Hokage seems to have only one son, Serutobi Asuma. But when watching Hokage in the previous life, Serutobi Dayu never appeared. After direct or indirect contact with Serutobi Dayu, Chiba Chingshi almost knew the reason. As the son of Third Hokage, he has excellent talent, but Serutobi Dayu has an extremely fatal weakness, that is, he is too arrogant. People who have no strength and are arrogant often don't live long. His current strength is only at the peak of Jonan, and he is still a long way from cage level. But Chiba Chingshi felt an unparalleled self-confidence from him. In the words of the previous life, what is this called? So ordinary but so confident. I don't know who gave Serutobi Dayu this confidence, but with only a mere Jonan strength, he thinks he can run wild in the entire ninja world. Even the current Chiba Chingshi, with his strength, still maintains a low-key and cautious style of acting. After all, he knew that the water in this ninja world was ridiculously deep. Uchiha Madara. Sage of Six Paths. Otsutsuki Kegaya Haim and the Otsutsuki clan far away. These terrifying existences can be suppressed by anyone at random, and now the entire ninja world can't hold its head up. And precisely because of knowing the existence of these people, Chiba Chingshi did not dare to be careless in his heart. In addition to these people, there are also three holy places hidden in the depths of the ninja world. Konoha, the strongest is not Jonan, maybe Jenin is the most terrifying existence. Chiba Chingshi thought with a sigh in his heart. He is now 14 or 15 years old. 
On the surface, the strength he showed to others is almost at the stage from the peak of Jonan to the first cage level. Even if he used all his whole cards, he reckoned that he was about the middle of the cage level. There is still a long way to go to the real cage level peak, the current third Hokage. But Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke of the later generations had six paths level strength when they were 15 or 16 years old. This is much more pervert than him. Carrying the will of Ashura and Indra, they are the real children of destiny in this world. In just a few years, the two of them have stood at the top of the ninja world from ordinary genin. Even the current Chiba Chingshi, thinking about it, can only complain that the old thief Kishimoto gave them too much hook. How is it? Has Chiba Chingshi rushed to the front line? How is the current situation? Third Hokage spoke to Anbu who was half kneeling in front of him, smoking the pipe in his hand. Seeing Anbu hesitating in front of him, he frowned and said with displeasure. What's going on? Did something unexpected happen? Could it be that Chiba Chingshi hasn't set off yet? According to his inference, if Chiba Chingshi rushed to the frontline battlefield at the speed, it might only take half a day to arrive, even if it was slower at most one day. And now it has been about a day and a half since he informed Chiba Chingshi to go to the front line. Quote dot dot dot. It's not that Master Chingshi didn't arrive at the front line. Dot but, it's Master Daiyu. Looking up at the expression on third Hokage's face, Anbu hesitated, not knowing how to tell him about it. What's wrong with Sarutobi Daiyu? You can just say it, you don't need to worry about it. Lord Daiyu didn't obey your order, he took the Chunin under his command to seek revenge on Rain Shinobi. After saying this, Anbu saw a sudden change in the expression on third Hokage's face. Third Hokage's already worried expression became even more serious. At this moment, he clenched his fists tightly and didn't say a word for a long time. Die you. Die you, this brat. I told him countless times before he left, don't be impulsive, don't be impulsive, and look at the whole situation calmly, he didn't listen to a word. After being annoyed, Third Hokage's heart was full of worries again. From the previous battle situation, it can be seen that Rain Shinobi came prepared this time. And Sarutobi Daiyu, who acted rashly, is likely to fall into their trap. You will immediately take my order to the front line. This time, Sarutobi Daiyu will no longer be the commander of the first team. Chiba Chingshi will be the commander of this operation. Before the words were finished, a flying eagle appeared by the window of Third Hokage. A small hollow bamboo tube was tied to Flying Eagle's leg. Seeing this, Third Hokage took the bamboo tube off its leg and took out the note inside. The information on the note was not long, and just a few words summed up the battle on the front line. After reading it, Third Hokage couldn't believe it. I saw him staring at the note in his hand at the moment, muttering to himself, This, how is this possible? Chiba Chingshi. Chiba Chingshi is, he is only 14 years old this year. Sakumo is at his age it's not so pervert. He listened to the murmurs coming from third Hokage, who had his back turned to him. The Anbu just now couldn't help his curiosity and looked up at the note in third Hokage's hand. It happened that from his angle, he could see the writing on the note clearly. Just reading a sentence, his heart became extremely shocked in an instant. Chiba Chingshi, single-handedly beheaded 100 rain shinobi, 10 of Jonan. In the land of rain. Seeing the Konoha camp getting closer and closer, Sarutobi Daiyu and the few chunins behind him breathe a sigh of relief. The few of them have not come out of the emotional shock just now. Especially those chunin after Chiba Chingshi killed all the rain shinobi, they vomited by the tree for a long time. Each of them had blood on their hands and took the life of the enemy. But it is not exaggerated to this extent. Recalling the sight of corpses lying all over the field just now, these Chunin still feel a nausea. But at the same time, they are also thankful that Chiba Chingshi is Konoha's ninja, who is on their side. Konoha Kilin is their Konoha ninja. Otherwise, if Chiba Chingshi becomes their enemy on the battlefield. Thinking of this, these people all shuddered, not daring to continue thinking about it. Sarutobi Daiyu still had a dazed look on his face at this moment. Since he took these Chunin to the Rain Shinobi camp without authorization, this is already a violation of the order. I don't know what kind of punishment Third Hokage and the village will give him in the future. Presumably, the position of commander will not be kept. 
However, this was an irrelevant matter to him. What really hit him was the strength that Chiba Chingchi had just shown. On the way back, he kept imagining what it would be like if he played against Chiba Chingchi. After assuming countless times, he found that his odds of winning were zero no matter how he calculated. Against Chiba Chingchi, he will definitely lose. Okay, I'm finally back, you all go back and have a good rest. After what happened just now, I guess Rain Shinobi Village won't make any big moves in the next few days. After Chiba Chingchi finished speaking, he called out to the ambulance personnel in the camp, motioning them to see if Sarutobi Dayu and the others had any serious injuries. At this moment, several Konoha personnel who have come out of the camp looked at Chiba Chingchi with a hint of disbelief in their eyes. The Chunin who had just been rescued by Chiba Chingchi had told them all about what had happened. Master Chingchi, we meet again. A red-faced female ninja stepped out of the medical staff. She has a good face, with lavender short hair that reaches the ears, she looks young, and seems to be about the same as Chiba Chingchi. M, you're. There was a hint of doubt in Chiba Chingchi's eyes, he had no impression of the medical staff in front of him at all. Not to mention that the medical staff is also a female ninja. Since he was with Tsunade, Tsunade seems to be more and more strict with him. Not to mention female ninjas, not even the female creature Tsunade would let him touch. There is no way, Chiba Chingchi himself may not know, but Tsunade knows how popular he is in Konoha. He is extremely handsome, powerful, and gentle. Just girls who like Chiba Chingchi can even line up from 3rd Hokage's office to the door of Konoha Shinobi Village. Tsunade naturally believed in his own charm and Chiba Chingchi's style. But believe it or believe it, sometimes seeing the admiring eyes those girls cast on Chiba Chingchi, she is still extremely jealous in her heart. Master Chingchi, you don't remember me, but I have a deep impression on you. If it weren't for you when I did the mission last time, I would already be the soul of those San Shinobi subordinates. After the female medical ninja finished speaking, Chiba Chingchi seemed to have some impressions in his mind. That seemed to be the first time he was out of Konoha to perform a mission. At that time, he hadn't gone out to perform missions as Konoha Kilin, and this girl was the only one who had seen his real face. After returning to Konoha, she even visited her several times. It's just that Chiba Chingchi felt a little strange, the frequency of her coming to her home seemed a little too high. After Tsunade found out about it, he seemed to see something. But before Tsunade discussed this matter with him in detail, the female medical ninja knew that Chiba Chingchi already had a girlfriend, and then slowly stopped coming to him. Chiba Chingchi thought for a while, then just nodded calmly, without saying anything. Thank you this time, if you hadn't appeared, I would have been buried in this jungle. Sarutobi Daiyu suddenly walked in front of Chiba Chingchi, bowed to him and said. Chiba Chingchi glanced at him in surprise, he never thought that with such an arrogant character, he would be able to thank him personally. It seems that although Sarutobi Daiyu is a bit arrogant, he is not bad in essence. Chiba Chingchi shook his head and said, you and I are both Konoha ninjas. Helping each other is what I should do. Besides, this is also my task. You don't need to worry about it. Sarutobi Daiyu insisted with a serious face, the truth is the truth, but my life was saved by you anyway, and I will always remember this in my heart. Seeing that Sarutobi Daiyu insisted on this, Chiba Chingchi had no choice but to accept his thanks. In his impression, the Second Ninja World War lasted about five years. But I don't know if it's because of his arrival or other butterfly effects. It seems that the war broke out a year or two earlier than he thought. This is not the result Chiba Chingchi wants. With his current strength, he still can't be the strongest in the ninja world. So he didn't want the world line of this world to deviate too much from what he knew. That's exactly what he did after he came to this world. He didn't want to change the original plot if it wasn't necessary. As a time traveler, he believes that besides hacking, his biggest advantage over others is that he is familiar with the past and the future. When his strength is completely not everything, he will no longer be so cautious. He hasn't fully grown up yet, and he thinks that, Go, is king. At night, Chiba Chingchi, who was looking at the battle map in the tent, heard footsteps outside the door. When he turned around to look, he realized that it was Uchiha Kai and Hyuga Sky Burial who came. You guy, we find that we can't see through you more and more. 
One person. You killed more than a hundred elite ninjas from Rain Shinobi Village by yourself. Uchiha Chi walked skillfully in front of Chiba Chingshi, pulled a stool and sat down. Third Hokage-sama specially sent us to support you, but Kei and I don't think it's really necessary. Hayuga said with a smile. I think Sky Burial is indeed right. It makes no difference to me whether you come or not. Chiba Chingshi raised his eyebrows and said with a smile. If it was an unfamiliar person, then he would definitely be humble. But after these few years, he and Uchiha Kai Hayuga Sky Burial can be regarded as life and death friends. Except for some of their own deepest secrets. They also know each other very well. You fool. Your mouth is really poisonous. If I can't beat you, I will definitely deal with you honestly now. Uchiha cursed with a smile. Others thought that he was the most eloquent and the most poisonous. But he knew that Chiba Chingshi was much more poisonous than his mouth. The most hateful thing is that Chiba Chingshi's words are obviously ugly, but they are very reasonable. His words were often spoken to Uchiha and neither of them could refute. You can't say it, you can't fight it. Chingshi. Now we can barely fight you a few tricks, and I'm afraid we won't be able to catch up with your strength in a few years. Hayuga Sky Burial looked away from the nearby fire. The bright and warm flame shone on his face, making his temperament look softer. But Chiba Chingshi knew that Hayuga's celestial burial was far from being as indifferent as he showed. Among the three, Kai Uchiha is the most arrogant, and Chiba Chingshi has the heaviest blood on his hands. But to talk about whose heart is darker, that should probably be Hayuga's sky burial. Both Chiba Chingshi and Uchiha Chi knew how unwilling he was. Hayuga Sky Burial touched the Konoha forehead protector on his forehead, and seemed to remember something, a mocking smile appeared on his mouth. Speaking of which, the past few years with you are the happiest days for me. I seem to have forgotten the fate I bear. It's a pity, a bird in a cage will always be a bird in a cage. He is destined to stay in a cage for the rest of his life. Both Chiba Chingchi were silent at the moment, they both knew what Hayuga said in the celestial burial. In the absence of famous teachers and resources, the talent of Hayuga Sky Burial is no less than the most outstanding geniuses of the Hayuga clan. Now he is in a period of rapid rise in strength. In the entire Hayuga family, apart from those few senior masters, there are few people who are more grand master than him in terms of supercilious eyes. But he discovered one thing in the past two years. Whenever his strength improved faster, his forehead seemed to hurt more. I have more and more headaches. And after he was interviewed by the head of the current Hayuga clan, he didn't know why. This sharp blade of his is too sharp, which has already made the Zong family dissatisfied with him. A ferocious dog is naturally liked by its owner, but a ferocious dog that cannot be fully controlled will be feared by its owner. The Zong family had already reminded him more than once or twice to remind him of his status and who gave him his current strength. As a branch house, he doesn't need to continue to improve his strength. When I was young, I was the most outstanding existence among the children of the Hayuga family. Among the children of my generation, I was the first to extract chakra, and I was also the first to learn how to use it. Without the guidance of the family, I just let myself figure it out, and I never complained. From the day I was in the branch house, I knew my destiny. I was born to protect the clan. Hayuga Sky Burial's voice was flat and steady, as if talking about other people's affairs rather than his own. People who are the same age as me in the clan, they have received more guidance and more resources, and those who are gradually inferior to me are gradually walking in front of me. Even so, I have never not the slightest bit of resentment. But, dot but, what I don't understand is, why should the things I get be controlled by them? I just want to practice quietly, improve my strength, and guard my one acre field three is it wrong to divide the land. When he said this, the veins around Hayuga's eyes exploded one by one. Although he was trying to control his stable emotions, he made himself look like he didn't care about these things. But the two of Chiba Chingshi have been with him for so many years, how could they not understand the unwillingness in his heart? Uchiha Kai, who is also from the Konoha wealthy family, often laments that if the status of the branch house did not restrict Hayuga's sky burial, his current strength should be able to rise to another level. When the Hayuga clan planted Curse Mark, caged bird, they not only controlled the life of the branch house. 
At the same time, they also left a fatal weakness for the branch house's supercilious eyes. Every member of the Hyuga branch house has a blind spot in the white of their eyes that spreads from the spine to the rear. This weakness is not obvious, but it is very fatal. Uchiha Kai thinks that if he fights to the death, he can take Hyuga's life in ten strokes. As long as he makes good use of the weakness of Hyuga Sky Burial's white eyes, he can completely target the attack behind Hyuga Sky Burial's spine. When the two played against each other before, Hyuga Sky Burial asked him to do the same. Taking into account his self-esteem, Uchiha Chi never took advantage of his weakness when he competed with him on weekdays. But Hyuga wondered how deadly this weakness would be if he faced a master of the same level. And finally at the 15th move, Uchiha activated Kanai and was only short of cutting his throat with the last blow. This is still the case that Uchiha Kai has released the water. The strength is not as good as that of a human being, so what can I do? Weakness is a sin. Chiba Chingshi said lightly. After hearing his words, Hyuga Sky Burial also showed a wry smile. Yeah, if I were strong enough, I might have been able to kill those guys from the Zong family by now, forcing them to help me unlock the curse of Caged Bird. Uchiha Kai was silent, he knew that what Hyuga Sky Burial said was unrealistic. This is a complete paradox. He who was planted with curse mark, Caged Bird, no matter how hard he tried, it was impossible for him to reach that height in this life. And if Hyuga Sky Burial can have the strength to fight against the entire Hyuga clan, maybe he doesn't have to force the clan to help him untie Caged Bird. Actually, maybe I can help you. I have been researching how to break the curse of Caged Bird for a long time these years. Maybe I can try to help you. After bowing his head and thinking for a while, Chiba Chingshi slowly said the words that shocked Hyuga Sky Burial. Hyuga suddenly looked up at Chiba Chingshi. Seeing Hyuga's celestial burial, Chiba Chingshi shrugged and said, Don't look at me like that. I'm not interested in men. From the look on Hyuga Sky Burial's face, Chiba Chingshi can see how much impact his words had on Hyuga Sky Burial's heart. Chingshi, is what you said true? Do you know what your words mean to me? Hyuga's celestial burial stared at Chiba Chingshi with anticipation, for fear that Chiba Chingshi would tell him that what he just said was just a joke. Chiba Chingshi couldn't stand being stared at by his eyes, so he slowly said, Actually, I am really sure about breaking curse mark, caged bird, at least 60% to 70% sure. But there are still a lot of risks in the rest. I can't guarantee the completion rate of it. As he spoke, the expression on Chiba Chingshi's face became more serious. And you know that the curse of caged bird is planted in your brain nervous system. If you fail, then your end will be death. As long as I try to crack it, then it will be in the it explodes in your mind, once I fail to crack it, it will explode in your brain. The human brain is the most fragile organ in the human body. There is no one. Once an attack occurs in your brain, you will undoubtedly die. After listening to their conversation, Uchiha asked a question, if you follow your progress, how long will it take you to perfect this method? Can you maximize the success rate? He stared at Hyuga Sky Burial and shook his head. Sky Burial, I don't recommend you to crack the ninjutsu of Caged Bird right now. Although it has 60 to 70% certainty, the risk of failure in the remaining 30% is too great, as long as you fail, you will there's nothing left. The light of the fire shone on Hyuga's sky burial face, reflecting the ups and downs of shadows, just like his life. It's just that his life has more lows than highs. Chiba Chingshi sighed. If I follow my current research progress, it may take me at least 5 years to increase the success rate to 90%. This is still with the help of Tsunade. Without her help, some medical care is even a blind spot for me. 5 years is the fastest and smoothest speed I expect. If the progress is slow, it may take about 10 years. Not only Hyuga Sky Burial, but even Uchiha Kai was silent at this time. 5 years, 10 years, time is really too long. It doesn't take 5 years or so, it only takes 3 years. Uchiha Kai and their strength don't know where they have improved. Chingshi, help me to perform the cracking ceremony now. After being silent for a while, Hyuga Sky Burial said firmly to Chiba Chingshi. Sky Burial. Uchiha Kai stood up directly and opened his mouth, but he didn't know what to say. Putting himself in the shoes of himself, 
I am afraid that he will choose to make the same decision as Hyuga Sky Burial at this time. Chi, Qingxi. You don't need to persuade me anymore, you must know my character, even if it were you, I believe you would make the same choice as me. After hearing what he said, Chiba Qingxi didn't try to persuade him anymore, but just nodded and said, okay. I'll help you. Early the next morning, I found a clean, undisturbed room. Hayuga's celestial burial lay flat on the bed, with no extra instruments around. Simply Chiba Qingxi and Uchiha Kai standing beside him. The principle is very simple. I just need to use chakra to invade your brain and destroy it before curse mark, caged bird occurs, then the ceremony is complete. Although what Chiba Qingxi said is very simple. But Kai Uchiha and Sky Burial Hayuga realized how much risk there was. Curse mark. It only takes a moment for caged bird to appear in the mind, and its attack time is even shorter than the thinking thoughts in the human brain. Perhaps only a speed ninja like Chiba Qingxi can use this method. Thank you, Qingxi. Hayuga gave him a grateful look. He knew how risky it was for Chiba Qingxi to do so. Regardless of whether things are successful or not, Chiba Qingxi helps him, as the Hayuga branch house, break the spell of caged bird. This already puts him on the opposite side of the entire Hayuga family. Based on his understanding of the clan of the Zong family, as long as they know about this matter, they will be in an endless situation with Chiba Qingxi. The relationship between us still needs to say thank you. You close your eyes first, I'm going to start. After Chiba Qingxi finished speaking, a phantom of a golden clock appeared in his eyes. He put his hands on Hayuga's forehead. When his chakra invaded Hayuga's brain, he immediately felt a violent chakra. Following this chakra, he found the caged bird in Hayuga's sky burial mind. In his perception, the caged bird was firmly absorbed in the nerves of Hayuga's celestial burial brain. Chiba Chingchi even felt that his caged bird seemed to have its own consciousness. It, it's alive. Chiba Chingchi's heart sank. The role of caged bird was worse than he had imagined. It seems to be absorbing the nutrients in Hayuga's sky burial mind to strengthen itself. According to this level of development, Hayuga's sky burial may not even live to be 30 years old. And as long as chakra of Hayuga's sky burial lives more and more, caged bird will live more and more, and the erosion of his brain will be faster. It seemed that the caged bird in his mind sensed the arrival of the outsider as well. It burst out an extremely strong malice towards Chiba Chingchi's chakra and rushed over. In Uchiha Kai's eyes, Hayuga's celestial burial is frowning at this moment, and the cold sweat on his face keeps coming out. It was obvious that he was in great pain. HMPH. I can't spare you. Chiba Chingchi's chakra immediately transformed into a sharp sword, instantly cutting off the nerve connection between caged bird and Hayuga's celestial burial brain. Immediately afterwards, his chakra held curse mark, caged bird fiercely like a big hand and crushed it. No matter how hard he struggled, the extremely powerful power that curse mark, caged bird erupted did not leak out in the slightest, and was completely controlled by this big hand. Hayuga Sky Burial opened his eyes. He felt so free before. He clearly felt that the thing that had been troubling him in his brain no longer existed. Look at the look in his friend's eyes. Chiba Chingchi and Uchiha Kai knew that his inner demon had been broken. Without the shackles, Hayuga will only grow stronger in the future. Congratulations, now you can wash off that nasty mark on your forehead. Uchiha Kai took the lead in congratulating Hayuga's Sky Burial. Touching the blue, X, symbol on his forehead, Hayuga Sky Burial shook his head. He still can't believe that the things that have been bothering him all this time are broken so easily. This is his demon day and night for so many years. He even imagined countless times what it would be like after he broke Caged Bird. But he never thought that after breaking Caged Bird, his heart would be so peaceful. Maybe it was because he was used to being in a cage, but he was not used to it when he was suddenly free. I can't wash off the symbol on my head now, otherwise the old dogs of the Zong family will probably see that I have broken the curse of Caged Bird. My current strength is still too weak. I'm afraid I can't regain my lost dignity by myself. Just like this, I still can't stand in front of those people. After thinking about it, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. I'm very curious about what kind of expressions those old guys from the Zong family will have when they know that my caged bird is cracked, 
and how they will feel if they know that the imprint on my forehead is just a simple symbol. He is looking forward to that day. But now is not the time for him to go from underground to surface. Only on the day when he is strong, he will stand upright in front of the gang of the Hyuga clan, and use his own fist to let them know that even without the help of the clan. His Hyuga sky burial is no worse than anyone else, his Hyuga sky burial is free. No one can control his fate. The only person who can control his destiny is himself. Neither Chiba Chingshi nor Uchiha Kai said anything to help him. Because they know that this is not just Hyuga's celestial burial to avenge the Hyuga family. More importantly, he wanted to tell the Hyuga clan a truth. He, Hyuga Sky Burial, will not be anyone's dog. Another year passed, and during this year, the situation in the ninja world became more and more turbulent. More and more ninja villages participated in the Second Ninja World War. Its scale is not much inferior to that of the First Ninja World War. In this war, the most outstanding is Chiba Chingshi. Konoha Kilin's reputation has resounded throughout the ninja world. The ninja world no longer thinks that Konoha Kilin is the successor of Muyi Baya, or that Konoha Kilin is an existence close to Muyi Baya. Konoha Kilin is just Konoha Kilin, he is not the second Muyi Baya, he is just as feared by the enemy as Muyi Baya. And when everyone in the ninja world knew that Konoha Kilin was only 15 years old, their hearts were even more shocked. At the age of 15, he has already reached the pinnacle of the ninja world. I am afraid that his achievements will surpass Muyi Baya in the future. And those shadows of ninja village who knew the identity of Chiba Chingshi regretted it even more. If I knew that Chiba Chingshi was so young and his talent was so high, I should have strangled him in the cradle at all costs. Now that Konoha Kilin has fully grown up, it is not so easy to do anything to him. At this moment, the stronger Chiba Chingshi, who has experienced so many cruel wars, the more he feels that his strength is improving slowly. At the same time, he felt unimaginable how quickly Obito and Naruto's strength would improve in the future. In just a few years, his own current strength barely reached the cage level, but guys like Obito later entered the six paths level. Chiba Chingshi believes that he still has a long way to go before reaching the peak of cage level, let alone six paths level strength, which is too far away. Of course, this premise is based on the premise that he does not apply the time fruit ability. Now Chiba Chingshi can control his own time flow rate to about seven times. If he uses the time fruit's ability, he doesn't know how strong his real combat power will be. But he thinks that even in the face of the shadows of various villages, he is not at all inferior at the moment. Eight inner gates he has practiced all eight gates, except for the dead gate, he can drive to the seventh gate without any pressure. It's just that with his current physical fitness, it won't last long after opening the seventh gate. This is already a terrifying state. If it were another ordinary ninja who opened the seventh gate of the eight inner gates, it would most likely fall into a state of serious injury and disability. Thinking of this, he couldn't help feeling a deep respect for the might guy of later generations. Without such a strong bloodline, without any so-called cheats, might guy forcibly cultivated into eight inner gates entirely by virtue of his own perseverance. It goes without saying how much suffering and sweat I have put in. Qingxi. Qingxi. I have good news for you. I'm becoming a father. Ha ha ha. A thick-browed man with a watermelon head and a green tights walked in from the door. Senior Dai. Congratulations, you finally got your wish. At least you are ahead of Mr. Sakumo in this regard. As far as I know, Mr. Sakumo's child will not be born for at least half a year. When the third Hokage gave Chiba Chingshi to pick frontline fighters among the Konoha Shinobi. Among the people Chiba Chingshi remembered was Might Dai. Even in order to repay the kindness of studying Might Dai eight inner gates, at the same time he also believes in Might Dai's strength. When Konoha's people, including third Hokage, knew that Chiba Chingshi had taken the initiative to name a 10,000 years genin to the front line, their first reaction was even whether this person had offended Chiba Chingshi. You must know that Might Dai doesn't know ninjutsu at all and at such an age, he can't even play the role of cannon fodder on the court. But it turns out they were completely wrong. When they knew that Might Dai single-handedly opened eight inner gates on the battlefield and killed three rain shinobi in a row. Everyone was shocked by his strength. Third Hokage directly announced that Might Dai was promoted to a special janin. Qingxi. 
This is youth. Although Sakumo and I are best friends, I will never give up to him in terms of having children. My child was born earlier than him, which means that I have won in this aspect. As he spoke, the corners of Mike Day's eyes couldn't stretch any more, and he began to cry in an instant. The corner of Chiba Chingshi's mouth twitched. Even after a year has passed, he still can't stand Mike Day's thinking and behavior habits. Thinking of this, he began to admire Hitaki Sakumo and Kakashi very much. In his impression, these two people are always so calm when facing Mike Dai and his son. This is youth. Mr. Chingshi. Burn to your heart's content. At this moment, a vacuum zone has already formed around Mike Dai. The people in the Muya camp saw him and all detoured away one after another. Senior Dai, ah, have you decided on your child's name? Boy or girl? Seeing that if he didn't speak any more, Mike Dai was about to flood the camp they were in with his tears, so Chiba Chingshi had no choice but to interrupt him. Quote dot dot dot. E.H. I'm just looking forward to being happy. I haven't decided what name I should call. He's a young boy like me. Chingshi Kun, do you have any suggestions? In terms of naming it's really not my forte. With his head down, Mike Dai touched the back of his head and said embarrassedly. Seeing Might in front of him, Chiba Chingshi smiled slightly and said, how about calling Guy Might Guy? Guy means strong and powerful, which is more in line with your iron-blooded character, Senior Dai. Hearing this name, Might Dai's eyes lit up, he raised his thumbs up and said to Chiba Ching, as expected of Mr. Chingshi. This name is really great. I really like this name, Might Guy. From now on my son will be called Might Guy. Guy. Burn and release your youth. Looking at Might Dai, who was making himself happy on the spot, Chiba Chingshi didn't know what to say. Among so many people he has met, Might Dai is the only man who he thinks has a mental quality that is completely off the charts. No matter what anyone said, Mighty Day couldn't seem to quite pull him out of his world. No matter what it is, Chiba Chingshi found that Might Dai can always be attributed to his own brain circuit. As expected of Mr. Sakumo, it hasn't gone crazy after so many years. Chiba Chingshi knew that Hitaki Sakumo was chatting with Might Dai. Even Hitaki Sakumo thinks that compared to him, Guy is the man who truly inherited the will of fire. Speaking of it, it seems that this battle is coming to an end. I don't know what's going on with Tsunade and the others. Staring at the tiny raindrops falling from the sky, Chiba Chingshi thought to himself. After a year of fighting, the fighting situation in their area has basically stabilized. But Tsunade's battle situation doesn't seem to be very good. The battlefield they are in is in the center of the rain country. And the leader of the rain country is the spiritual pillar of the rain country Hanzo. During this year, even though Chiba Chingchi and Tsunade were both in the land of rain, they actually didn't meet each other a few times. Not only him, but also Uchiha Kai and Tsunade have been rapidly promoted in this war. War is the nutrient for the growth of geniuses and the tombstone of the weak. At this time, the future, Sanin, also shed her childishness and gradually matured. In this war, everyone's ideas are different. Whether it is Tsunade or Chiba Chingshi, this is their first time on the battlefield. Whether it was local ninjas or Fang Muya ninjas, too many people died. Although it is said that ninjas are the main force in the war between several forces, the real casualties are civilians. Ninjas and ordinary people are originally species of two worlds. Fortunately, in the peaceful age, although ninjas have more powerful power than many people, they can still control the darkness and animal nature in their hearts. But now in the age of war, these ninjas can no longer restrain the darkest side of their hearts. Even the ninjas under Chiba Chingshi couldn't help burning, killing and looting when they passed by some civilian villages. It's just that Chiba Chingshi has already explicitly prohibited it. If someone shoots at civilians for no reason, then he will definitely punish them severely. Tsunade, Orochimaru, and Jiraiya were all confused. They internally question whether what they are doing is right. Seemingly seeing Chiba Chingshi's worries, Might Dai walked over and said, Mr. Chingshi, Dot you are worried about Tsunade's safety, if you are worried, then you go, I am here. Might Dai showed his white and shiny teeth. Sometimes it is strange to say that although Might Dai's brain circuit looks very abnormal, his behavior is also extremely exaggerated. 
but he seems to be able to empathize with other people's perceptions, and can even easily see through other people's thoughts. You must know that you can guess Chiba Qingxi's thoughts only by his expression and movements, that is, Tsunade and others who have been with him for several years. Seeing that Chiba Qingxi was still hesitating, Might Dai looked serious once again. Besides me, there are Lord Qi and Lord Sky Burial here, and the situation here has basically stabilized now, and the rest of these people can't afford it. What kind of storm? The final difficulty lies with Tsunade and the others. Zero. Under Might Day's repeated self-assurance, Chiba Qingxi decided to go to Tsunade and the others to take a look. Even if he knows that now in the original plot, Tsunade seems to be safe and sound in the second ninja war. But now that Tsunade is with him, the traveler, I don't know if the plot will change. Having already fought against Hanzo, he knows that judging by the current strength of Orochimaru Tsunade and the three of them, there is still a big gap between them and Hanzo. Another slash opened the body of a rain shinobi chunin. Orochimaru didn't bother to wipe the bloodline off his clothes. He backed away quickly to avoid the next attack. Zero. Bending slightly, he panted heavily. Fighting without sleep for several days has already pushed his spirit and will to the limit. If Tsunade hadn't practiced medical ninjutsu, he would be able to heal their injuries and restore their status at all times. At this moment, they had already been caught by Rain Shinobi a few days ago. Jiraiya. Your left side, watch out. Don't let these Rain Shinobi gizmos in. Orochimaru saw a gap on the left side of Jiraiya's defense between gaps. The three of them and the rest of the Konoha Shinobi were now facing back to back to guard against the Rain Shinobi who kept rushing towards them. Rain Shinobi. Give me a trick. Fire style big flame bomb. After being irrigated by Jiraiya's mouth full of oil, the fireball he spit out of his mouth doubled in size. Rain Shinobi, who faced his attack head on, was instantly covered in burning flames, and after a few screams, he fell silent. In the beginning, the three of them even had some compassion for these ninjas from the land of rain. But the continuous fighting has completely wiped out their compassion. This is a life and death battle, no one is right or wrong, the loser will die. The ninjas in the land of rain looked at them with nothing but hatred in their eyes, and nothing else. How did Qingxi do it? Up to now, Orochimaru still can't understand how Chiba Qingxi killed a hundred rain shinobi's people in a short moment. Night. Chiba Qingxi vaguely felt that he seemed to be lying on a long river in his sleep. The phantoms of countless clocks flowed in the river. There is nothing else around. The upstream and downstream of the river do not know where they are connected. When Chiba Qingxi widened his eyes and looked over, he found that there was only darkness left, and he couldn't see anything clearly. Only the river of clocks beneath his own feet seemed clearly visible. On the surface of the flowing clock, if you look carefully, you can still see some blurred pictures. Chiba Qingxi even saw Kai Uchiha, Tsunade, and Orochimaru in the picture. It's just that Tsunade is a child in some pictures, and Tsunade is a girl in some pictures. He even saw Tsunade's old age. But when Chiba Qingxi wanted to see the picture more clearly, the phantom on the clock disappeared. Standing on the river of time for a long time, Chiba Qingxi found that these clocks have different pictures and will flow to different tributaries. In some scenes, he found that Tsunade was with him, but in some clocks, Tsunade became lovers with Kato Dan just like the original book. The direction of clock flow with his picture is the top 10 tributary, while the direction of clock flow without his picture is some small and invisible branches f. Could it be that these different rivers represent different time spaces and futures? Chiba Qingxi guessed in his heart. Of course, this was just a guess in his mind. Even though he had obtained the time fruit for a few years, he now feels that the fruit does not give him that simple feeling. Just the ability of the first stage allowed him to survive countless crises in this world. He believes that this fruit still has many abilities that he has not developed. It is only because of my current lack of strength that I can only have the current level of time ability. Don't know if I can touch these clocks. After thinking about it, Chiba Qingxi squatted down and put his palm into the river. He didn't feel any abnormality when he touched the river, and even felt as if he was grabbing the air. He put his hand into the river, but the clock didn't change because his palm appeared in the river. These clocks flowed smoothly from his palm without hindrance. Chiba Qingxi frowned. Looking at it like this, it doesn't seem to work. 
could it be? Or is it because my strength is not enough? He had a premonition in his heart. If the direction of these clocks could be interfered by him, then this would be an extremely remarkable ability. After playing around in the river for a while, he found that it was still useless. Chiba Chingchi's eyes froze, as if he had discovered something remarkable. He seemed to have just seen that when his palm was flicking up and down, the clock seemed to go back a little bit in the river. Thinking of this, he swung towards the upper reaches of the river. Really. With a wave of his hand upstream, it seemed that the clocks had flowed a few centimeters upstream. What does this mean? He couldn't figure it out. After tossing and turning in the river for a while, he realized that it seemed that he could only let the clock flow backward for a short while while waving his hand upstream. But if he waved his hands at the dirty, these clocks would pass through his palm at the same speed as before. The appearance of the scene in front of him made him realize that the ability that may be the fruit of time has undergone new changes. In the five years since he obtained the time fruit, this scene has never appeared. This is the first time he has seen something related to time fruit in a dream. Although he didn't know what kind of new changes had taken place in his time fruit ability, but he felt that this time it should be a qualitative change, and maybe there would be a new ability. After observing the sea of time for a while, Chiba Chingchi didn't find anything else. With each of his tentative movements in the sea of time, he seemed to feel his eyelids getting heavier and heavier. So gradually, he gradually fell asleep in the sea of time. Early the next morning, Chiba Chingchi swiped, and opened his eyes. He is still at a loss as to what he saw in the dream. The scene in the dream was so real that it even made him feel that he was not dreaming, but that he had really gone to such a magical place. Supporting the edge of the bed with both hands, he changed his posture and sat on the bed leaning against the wall. After closing his eyes and thinking for a while, he slowly opened his eyes again. There seems to be, something different. My time fruit ability seems to have really produced some new changes. He didn't know why he felt this way. But the knowledge about the abilities of each stage of time fruit seems to be engraved in his mind. He picked up a small sharp dagger from the side of the bed and slashed at his arm. At this time, a miraculous scene appeared. The wound on Chiba Chingchi's arm just now disappeared. It's not so much that he disappeared suddenly it's more like his wounds are slowly healing. As expected, is this ability. After several more tests, Chiba Chingchi found that he can now control the time rewind. He can completely rewind his physical state to a few minutes ago. After his test, he found that this time is about 5 minutes, which is the limit he can achieve at present. However, like his current time acceleration ability, this ability can only act on himself, and cannot act on anyone or anything other than him. It seems, with this ability, my survivability and escape ability have been greatly improved. As long as I don't die in an instant, I can restore my physical state to 5 minutes ago. In this case, am I considered a kind of sub-invincible to a certain extent? Thinking of this, Chiba Chingchi became excited inside. This means that he can even use the dead gates of the 8 inner gates basically without any scruples, and open all the 8 gates in one go. As long as the time is controlled to less than 5 minutes, when the time comes, use the ability of time return, and go back in time, he is still in full state. But judging by Chiba Chingchi's current mastery of this ability, he is not completely invincible. In the face of an existence that is absolutely superior to him in strength, his ability seems rather weak. And now he has no way to use time return indefinitely. According to his conservative estimate, he would have no extra energy after using it three times at most. Speaking of which, he has studied for several years about the energy consumed by using the fruit of time. This energy does not appear to be chakra, nor is it any kind of power system that he recognizes. After using the time fruit's ability each time, this energy can only be recovered slowly through time, and cannot be subsidized by external objects. Chiba Chingchi studied and studied, but did not find out why. In the end, he still called this power the unique power of the fruit of time, the power of time. After awakening the ability of the second stage of the time fruit, the time calendar stored in his body has also increased a lot. When he first got the time fruit, the power of time in his body was only as much as a cup of water. After these years, his strength has continued to rise. In the end, the power of time changed from the amount of a glass of water to the amount of a bucket of water. 
But now the power of time is at least as large as a small pool, and it has increased by more than a hundred times at the top. Thinking of the scene in his dream last night, Chiba Qingxi is full of infinite expectations for the future. The time fruit should have many more powerful abilities that have not been developed, and now he has only seen the tip of the iceberg. If he has a complete insight into all the secrets in the river of time, he can completely grasp the river of time in his dream. So can he reverse time and space and control time. Chiba Qingxi withdrew his mind and stopped thinking about it for the time being. With his current strength, he can only do so much. If it was said that his strength was only at the level of the so-called first time cage level, but now he thinks that he can almost face the existence of the peak cage level. Even if it is third Hokage or other big shadows of Ninja Village, Chiba Chingshi thinks that his strength is not inferior to them. Even if there is a life and death fight, Chiba Chingshi believes that he must be the one who survives. Now he has more confidence in his heart than before. Except for some black hands hiding behind the ninja world now, Chiba Chingshi is not afraid of anyone anymore. It's time to find Tsunade and the others. Hanzo. I wonder if you can bring me any surprises. Chiba Chingshi stepped out of the tent and looked up into the distance. He had fought against Hanzo once before, and both of them had hidden cards that they didn't use. So the final battle was a tie, with neither winner nor loser. But now Chiba Chingchi who has awakened the ability of the second stage of the time fruit, he no longer takes Hanzo into his eyes. Perhaps it can be said that there are basically very few existences in the entire ninja world that he can pay attention to. Now that he has awakened the time fruit ability to the second stage, he has more ideas about the subsequent improvement of strength. But that's all for later. The most important thing for him now is to get to Tsunade's side as soon as possible to prevent accidents. These, these rain shinobi are finally retreating. Jiraiya lay facelessly on the ground, panting heavily. On the side, Tsunade and Orochimaru were not much better. The tired look on Orochimaru's face was not much less than Jiraiya's. Although Tsunade was guarded by all of them in the middle position, her physical strength basically bottomed out due to continuous release of medical ninjutsu. Even with the supplement of chakra bingliong pills all the time, the drug resistance in Tsunade's body has reached its peak. No matter how many bingliong pills she took, the speed of her recovery could not match the speed of her consumption. Orochimaru and Jiraiya know that Tsunade is at least half of the credit for their support until now. If Tsunade hadn't provided them with a steady stream of medical help, the injuries of all of them at this moment would have been unable to support them to continue the next battle. Hanzo. Open corner bracket. Orochimaru grimly thought about the name. He didn't expect the majestic rain shinobi demigod to be so unscrupulous in order to win. It is obvious that Hanzo's strength is completely above them, but basically he has not made any moves in person. Instead, occupying a favorable position has exhausted their physical strength and mental experience over and over again. Although the strength of the three of them is not particularly weak, their ability to strategize on the battlefield is far behind that of Hanzo. Hanzo just used a small plan to lead them to a disadvantage over and over again. When they first arrived on the battlefield, Konoha was only slightly behind Rain Shinobi. But as time goes on, their disadvantages are getting bigger and bigger. The reason why they can survive until now is partly because of their tenacious will, and partly because Hanzo wants to destroy them with the least amount of loss. For the first time since Orochimaru had been a ninja for so many years, he was angry at his own incompetence. He had never thought himself so weak like now. Orochimaru. Jiraiya. The situation is not good, our current food can only support us for another two or three days at most. If we don't want to rush out or find new food, I'm afraid. Tsunade healed the last wounded man and whispered to the two of them. After listening to Tsunade's words, both of them lowered their heads and looked at the ground without saying a word. The situation was worse than they imagined, and they thought they could hold on for another week or so. Probably because the last two attacks by Rain Shinobi were too fierce, and the aftermath of their battles destroyed a lot of food. I know. Jiraiya and I will figure out a way. You go and rest, your safety is much more important than the two of us, no matter what, you must not suffer any losses. After hearing Orochimaru's words, Tsunade shook his head. You and Jiraiya go to rest, Rain Shinobi and the others have just been repulsed, and it is estimated that they will not attack again in a while. 
You and Jiraiya have slept for two days and two nights, and the next battle will continue. It depends on you. Just as the three of them were discussing how to obtain food to survive, there was a sound of, Shishisuo, from the grass next to them. Everyone from Konoha, we meet again. Walking out of the grass, the first person wore a mask and held a sickle. Beside him was a toad-like ugly monster with short limbs and a long tail. Hanzo of the Salamander. When the three saw him and the densely packed ninja troops behind him, their hearts sank. If at the earliest of their arrival on the battlefield, they would have had the confidence to fight Hanzo of the Salamander. But at this moment, the three of them, including the Konoha Shinobi team behind them, are all at an absolute disadvantage. Now when they meet Hanzo and the person behind him, they are completely in the jaws of a sheep, and they have no power to fight back. It's unbelievable, as Konoha village ninjas, you will have this day. When you invaded our country with your so-called pride of a big country, did you think that this day would come? At this time, Hanzo didn't have a trace of murderous intent on him, his tone was soft, as if he was a kind elder talking to a younger generation. Looking at Hanzo who was strolling in the courtyard, the three of them did not dare to relax at all. They had already heard the name of Demigod when they had just graduated from ninja school. If you attack the land of rain in the name of aggression, I'm afraid I wouldn't hate you so much. But you, who claim to be righteous and always like to talk about the will of fire, don't even dare to admit this. The dignified Konoha Shinobi village is nothing more than that. After hearing his words, the three of them fell silent. From Hanzo's words, they couldn't find any reason to refute him, because what Hanzo said was the truth. The three of them are no longer the brats who just graduated from school. They knew that the reason why the country of rain declared war on Konoha was because of unavoidable reasons. If Konoha hadn't oppressed them too hard, Rain Shinobi village wouldn't have followed this path. Although Orochimaru and the others knew that what Hanzo said was well-founded. But all three are Konoha's ninjas. They are born in the leaves, grow in the leaves, eat the food of the leaves, and use the things of the leaves. Even if they are sympathizing with the people of the rain country, they cannot change their position that they are Konoha Shinobi. Earth Style. Earth Flow Wall. Orochimaru took the lead in attacking Hanzo with his two-handed mudra. The mud on the ground under Hanzo's feet rolled, and a wall of earth rose up in an instant and hit him from bottom to top. Go and deal with the remaining ninjas in Konoha, don't let anyone escape, the three of them are handed over to me. Hanzo tapped his toes lightly, and jumped back with his calf, avoiding the attack of this earth wall. He swung his knife lightly towards the front, and the earth wall in front of him collapsed instantly. Strange power fist. Not giving him room to pause, Tsunade roared and punched Hanzo. Hastily, Hanzo crossed his arms across his chest to block the attack. He only heard the sound of, he he. Although he blocked Tsunade's attack, his body kept moving backwards. Hanzo glanced at the marks outlined by his footsteps on the ground from the corner of his eye, and frowned. Good 97 strength. There is something unbelievable in his heart. From his perception, he could feel that Tsunade didn't use any taijutsu or traces of chakra at this moment. This is entirely her own power. It's a pity, it's useless. Hanzo flicked his scythe forward, and Jiraiya quickly pushed Tsunade away. Be careful. His knife has poison on it. Hanzo jumped and stood on top of the salamander, and threw several kanai at the three of them at the same time, each kanai had a detonating talisman at the end. Seeing this, the faces of the three people changed drastically, and they immediately ran a full distance of more than 10 meters toward the rear. When they fought against Hanzo for the first time, Hanzo used this trick to wipe out their large army. In the smog, Fat Zhang narrowed his eyes tightly. In his perception, the vital signs of the three people have not disappeared. At this moment, his ears moved, and he heard a slight sound coming from the ground behind him. You got fooled. When Jiraiya jumped out of the ground and was about to perform ninjutsu a Hanzo flicked the tail of the salamander under Hanzo's feet and sent Jiraiya flying. Shulker snake hand. The moment Jiraiya flew out, Orochimaru seized the moment. At this moment, countless snake heads appeared on his arm, biting at Hanzo. Successful. Orochimaru's eyes lit up when he saw that Hanzo was about to be entangled by his ninjutsu. But then Hanzo's figure flickered and turned into an afterimage, avoiding all the attacks. It's not working. Our tactics aren't working on him at all. 
Orochimaru walked to Jiraiya and the others from the side and said with a gloomy face. The tacit understanding between the three has grown stronger and stronger in the past few years. The ninjutsu coordination between each other is not far behind even if it is not perfect. But looking at Hanzo with his arms folded in front of his chest and his expression unchanged, their hearts sank to the bottom of the valley. From the fight to the present, they have no idea what level Hanzo's strength has reached. It feels like Hanzo is playing with them from beginning to end. Without giving them a chance to catch their breath, Hanzo jumped off the salamander's head and slapped the ground with his palm. The three of Jiraiya felt the ground shake for a moment. The ground continued to sink, revealing the multi-expansion detonating talisman. Not good. Ninja. Needle Jizo. Just when Jiraiya was about to make the move to save his and Tsunade's lives. There was a bright yellow light on Tsunade's neck instantly. Immediately after the three of them, a large transparent dome appeared around them, covering them inside. After the violent explosion, Hanzo looked at the three people who were unharmed, his face sank. This, this is what Qingxi gave me. Tsunade looked down at the necklace she was wearing around her neck, opened her mouth wide and said in astonishment. One night a few years ago, Chiba Qingxi mysteriously gave her such a necklace. Chiba Qingxi said that the necklace would definitely help her in a life or death crisis. But so long has passed, and there has never been a time when it faced a serious crisis. So Tsunade himself forgot that this necklace seems to have such a function. Chiba Qingxi. Hanzo chewed Chiba Qingxi's name over and over again in his mouth. These are the four words he has heard repeatedly in recent years. He is no stranger to the owner of this name. After all, a few years ago, they had already played against each other for the first time in Rain Shinobi. It's just that at that time he was still at the pinnacle of the ninja world, while Chiba Qingxi was just a mere junior in the ninja world. But he never imagined that after only a few years, Chiba Qingxi had already stood at the same height as him. Konoha has won this war, and I give you the name of Sanin. Then bear the name I gave you as the price of living. If you can go back alive. Hanzo knew that this war they had actually lost. Except for this war zone where he is located, the rest of the war zones have already suffered a crushing defeat. From the time he declared war on the major powers, he had no intention of winning. What he really wants to do is to tell these big countries that they, Rain Shinobi Village, will also resist and have their own dignity, not a lamb to be slaughtered. But at this moment, the goal he wanted has been achieved. If the war continues, it will be their land of rain who will suffer the real loss. Looking at the three Orochimaru in front of him, he couldn't help showing a hint of admiration in his eyes. In time, these three people must be a legend in the ninja world. Although he is not very old, he can fully see the potential and talent of the three of Orochimaru. If he followed his original style, he should let the three of them go now. But thinking of Chiba Chingshi, he decided to change his original thinking. Konoha is already too strong, they have so many young and outstanding talents. One Konoha Kilin is enough. Suddenly, it began to rain sparsely in the sky. But the few of them fell into a strange atmosphere. Hanzo didn't do anything to them, and they didn't do anything to Hanzo. At this moment, a loud voice sounded in the field. It seems that I'm not too late, or I'll miss this good show. Chiba Chingshi, with Muramasa behind his back, stood on a tall tree with his hands on his hips, watching them condescendingly. Qingxi. Tsunade looked up at him and yelled in surprise. With a movement of Chiba Qingxi's body, he appeared in front of the three of Orochimaru in an instant. He supported Tsunade and frowned at Orochimaru and the others and said, What's going on, you guys are too embarrassed. Although he knows Orochimaru and the three of them are not as strong as Hanzo. But they never thought that the situation in front of them would be so bad. Orochimaru gave a wry smile and said, You fool. But he really couldn't refute Chiba Chingxi with any words. When they came, the situation was only slightly disadvantaged, but now the battle situation has completely collapsed. Even the proud Orochimaru has to admit that the gap between them and Hanzo's strategic layout on the battlefield is greater than the gap in strength between them. Chiba Chingxi. Hanzo looked coldly at the junior in front of him who had fought against him before. Chiba Chingxi just stood there casually, which gave him a great sense of threat and made his nerves tense. He believes that Chiba Chingxi's strength is not inferior to his own at all. 
Senior Hanzo, we meet again. Chiba Chingchi turned around and said to Hanzo with a smile on his face. Orochimaru and the others in the field Jonan couldn't help showing a strange look on their faces. At this time, Hanzo faced Chiba Chingchi, giving them the same feeling as when they faced Hanzo just now. Cautious and cautious. This is like the instinctive reaction of weak creatures in the jungle when they face creatures stronger than him. This war is won by you Konoha, from now on I will take my people to evacuate from here. As for you, I don't think there is any need for us to fight anymore yes, this war is over. Hanzo opened his mouth and made the first concession. Master Hanzo. When Rain Shinobi behind him opened his mouth wide and wanted to say something, he interrupted him by raising his hand. Qingxi. Don't let them go so easily. Tsunade and we almost died just now. Jiraiya shouted loudly from the side. But Hanzo ignored it and just stared at Chiba Qingxi solemnly. He knew that Chiba Qingxi was the one who decided the next direction of the situation. Hanzo sighed slightly inwardly, it seemed that he could only retreat from here. Originally, he wanted to see if he could try his best to keep Tsunade and the others and bury these three talented young people here, but now it seems impossible. With Chiba Chingchi here, it would be the best ending for him and the rain shinobi behind him to escape unscathed. Hanzo himself is a big killer on the battlefield, so he knows how terrifying Chiba Chingchi, who is also known as the battlefield harvester, will be once he exerts his full strength. In times of war, people like them are the most terrifying. A single person may even play a greater role on the battlefield than a regiment. Chiba Chingchi nodded and said, what senior Hanzo said is exactly what I want. If there is no accident, Tianyi Chingchi also wants to end this war as soon as possible. The number of rain shinobi on the field is more than double that of Konoha, and now the remaining ninjas in Konoha basically have no fighting power. Chiba Chingchi can't guarantee that he will still be able to protect these Konoha ninjas during the fight. However, Senior Hanzo, I have a request, I hope you can agree to me. After a pause, Chiba Chingchi turned his head to stare at Hanzo and said with a half smile. Hanzo stared at him and motioned for him to continue. Chiba Chingchi took down Muramasa from behind, flicked Muramasa's blade and said, I want to try my own strength again, I want to know how far is the gap between myself and the current pinnacle of ninja world, after all. Senior Hanzo is known as a demigod existence. Hanzo raised his eyebrows, that's exactly what I mean. I didn't enjoy my fight in the Land of Rain last time, and I also want to know how far you, the so-called Konoha Kilin, have come. But the battle just now was different, at this moment Hanzo's heart was completely full of fighting spirit. The attack of Orochimaru's three people just now seemed to him no threat, so he didn't take it seriously from the beginning to the end. But the Chiba Chingchi in front of him is different, he knows that the current Chiba Chingchi is already at the same height as him. It had been a long time since he himself was looking forward to fighting with a person. Those who can reach his position are basically high-level people of one side. There are too many factors involved behind this kind of person, and it is difficult for them to have a direct confrontation. The two nodded, and the people around them retreated slowly, only stopping when they were tens of meters away. They all know that with the level of strength of the two of them, if they use all their strength, it will definitely be a scene of heaven and earth falling apart. At the same time, both the ninjas of Konoha and the ninjas of Rain Shinobi Village couldn't help but feel a little curiosity in their hearts. Is the demigod stronger, or Konoha Kilin better? Both of them now represent the peak existence of the two forces. People around are filled with anticipation. At this time, Tsunade tightly clenched the hem of her clothes and said, Do you think? Qingxi can win. When the three of us faced Hanzo just now, we didn't even have the strength to fight back. Orochimaru and Jiraiya fell silent. Although they all have strong confidence in Chiba Qingxi's strength, but at the moment he is facing the legendary Hanzo of the ninja world. Besides, they were defeated by Hanzo just now. After a while, Orochimaru said, Believe in Qingxi's strength. I believe he will not let us down, after all, he had already fought against Hanzo a few years ago, and the strength of the two of them at that time was not great. It's a matter of victory. And Jiraiya on the side also comforted. Yes, Tsunade, you have to have confidence in Qingxi, he was able to draw with Hanzo a few years ago, now Qingxi's strength has grown by leaps and bounds, and it is even more unfathomable. Hanzo must not be his match. 
Even so, the worried looks on the faces of the two betrayed their true inner thoughts. Knowing what happened a few years ago, they knew that the so-called tie was just a theory given by the outside world. Chiba Chingchi and Hanzo left the land of rain without resorting to a few tricks. Now on the battlefield, this is the real life and death fight, and it will only be more cruel and fierce than their previous fights. It's all right, Tsunade, now that the situation is over, Hanzo has got what they want, the war is over, even if Chingchi loses, he'll be fine. Hanzo. Chiba Chingchi looked indifferently at Hanzo who was standing opposite him at the moment. His face was expressionless, making it impossible to see what he was thinking. Compared to Hanzo, who was full of fighting spirit, his heart was actually calm. Because he knew that Hanzo at this moment was no longer his opponent. Hanzo looked at Chiba Chingchi's relaxed and casual posture, and couldn't help but feel a little angry in his heart. Is this completely sure that he can deal with himself? Young people nowadays don't know the heights of the sky and the earth, and they just don't know what it means to have a little bit of strength. This old man will replace your third Hokage and teach you a good lesson. Hanzo whispered in a voice only he could hear. Even though he said that, he didn't dare to underestimate Chiba Chingchi in front of him at all. He is deeply afraid of Chiba Chingchi's extremely fast, 327, and his unpredictable sword skills. Even when he fought against Chiba Chingchi a few years ago, he didn't know how much strength Chiba Chingchi was hiding. Hanzo's body flashed, and he suddenly appeared beside Chiba Chingchi holding a sickle. His palm trembled, and the chain on his hand was like a nimble little snake suddenly winding towards the village in Chiba Chingchi's hand. Raising the sickle, he struck Chiba Chingchi from top to bottom. The knife is full of poison, but he knows that his own seems to have no effect on Chiba Chingchi. But his real purpose is not the case. Chiba Chingchi lifted up the chain-wrapped villager, which happened to block the sickle he was waving. It's now. Hanzo stared, at this moment the salamander behind him jumped out of the soil and rushed to the back of Chiba Chingchi. The salamander opened its big mouth full of sharp teeth and bit Chiba Chingchi. I'm not fighting alone, I have my old partner with me. Hanzo's mouth curled into a smile. At this moment, Chiba Chingchi had no choice but to give up the Muramasa he was holding, and dodge the salamander attacking from behind with a dodge. The salamander jumped into the air, and it bit down on the spot where Chiba Chingchi had just stood. Only a, boom, was heard. In an instant, the dust was flying, and the gravel was splashed all over the place. It is conceivable what kind of scene it will be if it bites on a person. Did you even throw away your weapons? Hanzo looked down at Muramasa who was already in his hands. There was a confident smile on his face, so what if it was Konoha turning? I am Hanzo. I am a demigod standing at the top. But Chiba Chingchi, who had already moved aside, did not see the slightest panic on his face. His expression was exactly the same as at the beginning, still so indifferent. Hey. It's really troublesome now, forgot that you have such an ugly fish. Although he said he was troubled, Chiba Chingchi couldn't see any troubled expression on his face. It's troublesome now. Chingchi's sword has been taken away by Hanzo, what should I do? Tsunade looked anxiously at the field at this moment. If Jiraiya and Orochimaru hadn't pulled her desperately, I'm afraid she couldn't help but rush in now. Tsunade, don't worry. You see the situation on the field clearly. Although Chingchi's sword was taken away by Hanzo, have you forgotten that there are other means? Apart from sword skills, his ninjutsu and physical skills are not weak. Having been with Chingchi for so long, don't you know his strength? Look at his current appearance, he must have other means. Orochimaru and Jiraiya dissuaded her from the sidelines. Without the knife, I still have fists. Grinning, Chiba Chingchi smiled. After saying this, I saw a flash of thunder flashing on his body at this moment. Eight inner gates, seventh gate, shock gate. Open. The moment the voice fell, Chiba Chingchi appeared in front of Hanzo. What? Before Hanzo had time to react. At this moment, Chiba Chingchi took a light breath, the muscles on his forearms bulged, and then his upper body leaned back slightly. Thunder fist. Luan Da. The air seemed to be stagnant for a few seconds, and Hanzo could even clearly see the dust contained in the raindrops in front of him. Then suddenly, countless fists with lightning came at him densely packed. Every time Chiba Chingchi punches, there are countless invisible shadows of fists hitting his body. 
Zero. In Hanzo's haste, Song Neng set up the sickle in his hand to parry. How is it possible? Just at this moment, Hanzo widened his eyes, and from Chiba Qingxi's fist he felt a huge force that he couldn't resist. Moreover, the lightning chakra lightning attached to it made his body numb for a while, and even made him feel out of strength. With a click, a piece of his sternum broke, and he spit out blood, and his whole body flew backwards in an instant. And Chiba Qingxi is not going to let Hanzo go so easily. When Hanzo's feet flew back from the ground, his body flashed, followed by Hanzo's kick from bottom to top. Following his kick, Hanzo's body rushed straight up to the clouds. In the sky, at this time, the gloomy clouds above were directly pierced with a big hole. Wisps of sunlight even appeared from among the clouds, and the raindrops also stopped at this time. It seems to be sunny. Fake. Fake. Hanzo. Hanzo-sama. At this time, all the rain shinobi looked at the clouds in the sky and grew their mouths. They never thought that Lord Hanzo, whom they regarded as a god, would be so miserable. He was directly beaten and flew up and down. On the other side, Konoha's ninjas were not feeling any better. Feeling the sun's 1.1 burning sensation from their faces, they all had an unreal feeling at the moment. Except for the three Orochimaru, the rest of the Konoha shinobi were seeing Chiba Chingshi for the first time. They looked at Chiba Chingshi standing in the center of the field like a god, with a deep sense of trance. After a long time, it seemed that a heavy object fell from the sky from top to bottom. With a, boom, Hanzo's body hit the ground hard. Thousands. Chiba Chingshi. Before he could say a few words, a large mouthful of blood spit out from Hanzo's mouth instantly, covering his entire chest. Looking at the blood splashed like dripping thick ink. Chiba Chingxi walked over and stared at the big hole in Hanzo's chest and said, Hanzo. Dot you are worthy of being a demigod, you can still talk after being tricked by me. Cough. Cough. Chiba Chingxi. Can you grant me a request? Lifting his right hand vigorously and touching the big hole in his chest, Hanzo said with his eyes broken. I don't know if you can spare the rain shinobi behind me. For these losses of Konoha, I hope that I can use my life to pay back. Chiba Chingxi nodded and said, I had no intention of killing them all. For Konoha, this battle has long since ended. They have won this war. Even whether Hanzo survives or not is actually completely unimportant to this situation. Chiba Chingxi shot at him, also because he was annoyed by Tsunade's injury. Master Hanzo. The surrounding rain shinobi gritted their teeth and wanted to rush up, but they didn't dare to move. Chiba Chingxi retrieved Muramasa, then turned and left. Seeing that Chiba Chingxi didn't seem to care about their behavior, these rain shinobi boldly gathered around Hanzo. The leader, rain shinobi, squatted down, held back the tears overflowing from the corners of his eyes, and opened his mouth, not knowing what to say. Hanzo's pupils at this moment have completely lost their luster. He opened his eyes, not knowing where he was looking. The fight between me and Konoha Kilin is entirely between the two of us, and it's all up to us, from now on, any of you must not avenge him on your own. After hearing his words, all rain shinobi fell silent. Even if Hanzo is in the entire ninja world, it is a nightmare for other ninja villages. But in the land of rain, Hanzo is their patron saint. All the rain shinobi present have been directly or indirectly helped by him. Each of them admired Hanzo very much and regarded him as a spiritual pillar. With the last of his strength, Hanzo opened his right hand and held it in the air, as if trying to grab something. It's a pity. I'm really unwilling. Chiba Chingxi really has no intention of killing Rain Shinobi. Even after such a long war, he was mentally exhausted. He is not a murderous person at heart. He only kills the people who should be killed, and now the war between the two countries has completely ended, so he naturally has no need to use the butcher's knife. Chingxi, is the war really over? Staring at Chiba Chingxi's face, Tsunade said with a sense of loss. Squeezing the smooth face of Gangsho with his hands, Chiba Chingxi said with a smile, What? You have been away from Konoha for a few years, don't you want to go back? Chiba Chingxi sighed looking at the scene of ruins. It's all over. Orochimaru and Jiraiya stood together supporting each other at this moment. The two of them looked at Chiba Chingxi with expressions of shock and disbelief. Even if Chiba Chingxi's strength has been infinitely raised in their hearts. 
but they never thought that Hanzo, whom they regarded as a nightmare, would die in his hands so easily. And judging from Chiba Qingxi's relaxed appearance, he didn't seem to put in much effort. Qingxi. Has your strength actually reached such a height? When fighting against Chiba Qingxi before, the two never won once. But they never wavered in their hearts. However, at this moment, the two couldn't help but have deep doubts about themselves. Did they still have a chance to catch up with Chiba Qingxi in this lifetime? Even third Hokage may not necessarily be Chiba Qingxi's opponent now. Tsunade is now 1.65 meters tall, while Chiba Qingxi is a little over 1.8 meters tall. Her height just reached Chiba Qingxi's chest. Burying his head deeply on Chiba Qingxi's chest, Tsunade took a deep breath. Only then did she relax completely. She had forgotten the last time she was so relaxed. Third Hokage rubbed his temples with a headache. He wanted to pick up the pipe on the table and start smoking again. I don't know when his addiction to smoking seems to be getting heavier. At first he only smoked occasionally at night when he got off work, but now he smokes more and more frequently, and he starts smoking whenever he feels uncomfortable. This seems to have gradually become a habit in his life. Fortunately, he is still in his prime, whether it is physical function or willpower, he is at his peak. To be able to become third Hokage, his own willpower is naturally needless to say. As long as he is given a certain amount of time, he has the confidence to quit his bad habit of smoking. It's just that it is a special case now, so special handling is required. Work demands that smoking can refresh oneself, which is not a breach of one's promise. Hitaki Sakumo pushed open the door and walked in, looking at the tired body and face gradually covered with grooves on the face of third Hokage, he felt that the main generation Hokage seemed to be paler than before. Master Hokage. The war with the land of rain has brought us victory, and rain shinobi village has declared its surrender. Third generation nodded. He already knew the outcome of this war two days ago, but today rain shinobi village officially handed over the instrument of surrender. After hesitating for a while, Hitaki Sakumo spoke again, but Tsunade Orochimaru and the three of them seemed to have encountered some troubles, and Hanzo of the Salamander personally went to ambush them with the remaining Rain Shinobi. Hearing this sentence, Third Hokage frowned deeply. He still has a very clear understanding of the strength of his three lovers. Although their strength has grown by leaps and bounds in the past few years, there is still a big gap of 867 from the current Hanzo. How's the situation? Tsunade and they should be all right. Three people only suffered some minor injuries, all thanks to Chiba Chingshi. Chiba Chingshi. Isn't he in another war zone? Third Hokage gave him a puzzled look again. After a pause, Hitaki Sakumo said to him with a strange face, the situation in Chingshi's war zone has stabilized, so he was worried about Tsunade's safety and went to visit them, and then happened to meet Hanzo the ambush. Only. Hitaki Sakumo showed a complex look on his face, which was both gratified and shocked. When he heard the news, his first reaction was disbelief. Chiba Chingchi fought with Hanzo of the Salamander several times, and then beheaded him in Rain Shinobi village. Afterwards, Chiba Chingchi took Tsunade and the others back to their camp unscathed. With a click, the pipe at the corner of Third Hokage's mouth fell to the ground. He didn't respond at all. You, what did you say? Chingshi killed Hanzo in Rain Shinobi Village. In the Second Ninja World War, Konoha Kilin beheaded Rain Shinobi demigod Hanzo of the Salamander with an absolute advantage. So far, the war between the two countries has come to an end. Since then, there has been a new legend in the ninja world, Konoha Kilin. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, so strong. Nagato. Yahiko, this big brother is really too strong. At this time, Far away from the battlefield where Mu Yechingchi and Hanzo fought, there were three young figures crawling in the grass, watching the battle between them from beginning to end. Nagato and Yahiko looked at each other, and they both saw the seriousness of the two. As people from the country of rain, they naturally know Hanzo's strength and status in the country of rain. They never thought that this Konoha shinobi who looked not much older than them could kill the belief in themselves and everyone in the kingdom of rain. Conan showed a deep envy on his young and delicate face. If we had such strength, wouldn't we be hungry every day, if only our country had such a powerful ninja? Conan's words also expressed the feelings of the two people. 
From the time they met to the present, the three of them lived without enough food and clothing every day. If it weren't for the three of them relying on each other and helping each other, they might not be able to survive now. Yahiko, who has short orange hair, turned her head and said to her, Conan, don't worry, Nagato and I will definitely practice hard in the future, and one day we will have this kind of strength, and we will protect you. Nagato on the side didn't speak, but he also showed a firm look on his face. Conan nodded emphatically. For the words of the two partners, she will not have the slightest doubt. The three who lost their parents have long regarded each other as the last relatives in the world. She believed that Nagato and Yahiko would protect her and change the entire rain country. It's a pity, this battle was originally the best moment for me to display my charm, but Qingxi took my limelight away. Seeing that the situation on the field is no longer tense, Jiraiya has returned to her previous appearance. At this time, Tsunade and Orochimaru looked at him speechlessly. Tsunade looked at Jiraiya, who was still chattering aside, with a big, well character raised on his forehead. She couldn't help but teach Jiraiya a good lesson with the strange power fist. Jiraiya also seemed to see her thoughts, and immediately shut her mouth. As a companion who has entrusted his life to each other, he knows how terrifying Tsunade's strange power has become in recent years. He was already exhausted, if he was hit by Tsunade's monster punch at this time, he might have to lie on the bed for half a month. But after this battle with Hanzo, and after seeing Chiba Chingchi's strength, all three of them felt a sense of urgency in their hearts. Their strength is still too weak. As companions who grew up together, Jiraiya and Orochimaru have always had a rivalry with Chiba Chingchi. And Tsunade didn't want to be left too much behind by Chiba Chingchi. As the best ninjas among Konoha's younger generation, the three of them all have their own inner pride. At this moment, there was a, click, sound from the grass next to it. Orochimaru frowned, and took out a kunai directly from his hand and was about to throw it from the grass. And Tsunade and Jiraiya on the side were not much better, and immediately looked at the direction of the grass nervously as if they were facing a big enemy. Who is it? Come out. Could it be that this war is not over yet, does the land of rain have any other opponents? Deep doubts arose in the hearts of the three of them. Don't. Don't do it. We're coming out. The three of Nagato got out of the bushes nervously. Conan's face showed a deep annoyance, the sound was made just because she accidentally stepped on a branch. Otherwise, it would not be discovered by these Konoha ninjas. Chiba Chingchi took a surprised look at the attire of the three of them. Looking at the girl in front of him wearing paper flowers and short light blue hair, coupled with the current time, he recognized the identities of the three people at a glance. Dot dot dot. Uzumaki Nagato. On the other side, Sanin frowned when he saw the red hair on Nagato's head. How did the Uzumaki clan appear in the land of rain? Tsunade was relieved to see that the three were children. Even though they were extremely nervous after the battle in the Land of Rain, she didn't think that the three children in front of her would cause them any harm. What's more, the red hair on Uzumaki Nagato's head made her even more fond of it. After all, Grandma Mito, who has the closest relationship with her, is also from the Uzumaki clan. The Uzumaki clan and their Senju clan were originally distant relatives. Although they were sparsely populated, every ten members of their ten clans would not be weak in the ninja world. Tsunade felt even more deeply guilty. If she had spoken out more for the Uzumaki clan back then, I am afraid that the entire Uzumaki clan would not have perished. After several years of growth, she is no longer the ignorant and ignorant girl in her heart. She knew that the demise of Uzumaki country, which had always been Konoha's best ally, might not be that simple. Orochimaru's eyes showed a hint of pity involuntarily. When big countries compete for hegemony, the most pitiful thing is that small countries like them, if they are not careful, their families will be ruined. The rain country and Uzumaki Nagato in front of us are the best examples. Compared with Jiraiya and Tsunade, he knows more about the inside story of the demise of Uzumaki. Staring into Nagato's eyes indifferently, Chiba Chingshi was thinking about other things in his heart. Uzumaki Nagato, Rinnegan, Uchiha Madara. Released all his chakra to perceive the surroundings, Chiba Chingshi didn't notice anything unusual. But he knew that as the eye of Uchiha Madara, White Zetsu must be hiding nearby. Put Rinnegan on such a weak, pleased Nagato, there's no way he wouldn't take any protective measures. 
And when he felt that Shiva Chingchi was zooming in on his chakra to search for something, Tsunade thought he thought Nagato and the others were Hanzo's backhands. In the past, I checked the bodies of the three Nagato. Tsunade shook his head at the three people and said. After checking, the three of them are indeed just ordinary orphans. There is not even the slightest fluctuation of chakra on their body. It should have nothing to do with Hanzo. Quote. After saying this, Tsunade rubbed the heads of the three people with pity in his eyes. She knew that this war would hurt their children the most. If it weren't for this war, these children would not have become orphans one by one. Looking at the immature faces of the three, she even reminded her of her younger brother Senju Nawaki. Nawaki was about the same age as them at this time. The three of Yahiko remained silent for a long time, especially Yahiko, who now felt that he seemed to have made a wrong choice. The Jiraiya in front of her doesn't look like a reliable person at all. But now that they have come to this point, many things cannot be left to them. They also saw the strength of Jiraiya and Hanzo when they played against each other just now, even if it was not as good as Chiba Chingshi. But it is also stronger than most of the people they have seen. What are your plans next? Jiraiya put away the playful look on his face and asked. Now he has gradually faded away from his past innocence, gradually showing his unique charm. Although he looked dull when he was young, he didn't have much talent in ninjutsu. But in fact he just lacks good teaching, third Hokage can see at a glance that Jiraiya is a diamond in the rough. Under the careful teaching of third Hokage, although Jiraiya is still the same as before, her inner self is much more stable than before. Before they could answer, Jiraiya glanced at the distant sky and said with a smile, I'm going to teach these three little ghosts in the kingdom of rain for a while, and then choose when to go back depending on the situation, travel to finish my book. Writings, is making out heaven. Chiba Chingshi raised his eyebrows. It turns out that 073 Jiraiya has already started to create art at this time. However, Chiba Chingshi is still very interested in the books created by Jiraiya. Intimate Paradise, which is famous in later generations, he felt that it was a pity that he came to this world without knowing it. After checking that there were no other injuries on Nagato, Tsunade stood up and said, After this battle, I realize that my strength is still too weak. I will go back to Konoha as soon as possible to practice hard. Strive to be able to improve my strength to another level in a short time, and I will not fall behind in medical ninjutsu so that in future battles, no matter what injuries you suffer, I can help you. Orochimaru pondered for a moment and slowly opened his mouth, I have other things to do in Konoha. Now that the war is over, I will go back and finish my work as soon as possible. At this time, Orochimaru's temperament is the most gloomy and melancholy among the three. His current image is getting closer and closer to the, Uncle Snake, in Chiba Chingshi's impression. Chiba Chingshi knew that Orochimaru, who had seen more people die on the battlefield, was probably becoming more and more obsessed with the pursuit of, eternal, life in his heart. It's a pity, given Orochimaru's talent in the era of his previous life, as long as he is taught well, he will definitely be an outstanding scientist and medical scientist. Trying all kinds of human research at this time, he will definitely be regarded as an outlier. This is the tragedy of the times and has nothing to do with him. I don't have anything to do, so I won't go back to Konoha, I will travel with Jiraiya for a while. Chiba Chingshi made a decision that surprised them all. You must know that from the time they met Chiba Chingshi, he was an out-and-out -out cultivator. Except for sleeping, he spends all his time practicing. This is the first time he has voluntarily said that he wants to hang out with Jiraiya for a while. Tsunade gave Chiba Chingshi a worried look. She thought that Chiba Chingshi wanted to go out to rest because of too much pressure during this period. When Konoha was learning medical ninjutsu, she had read some research on it in some books. There is a book in Konoha library called, Sequences of War. She probably still remembers the content clearly. It is about that ninjas of their kind usually participate in wars, and some people seem to have no problems on the surface, but they are under great psychological pressure. Years and years later, they eventually leave inevitable trauma to their souls, which leads to suicide. She knew that Chiba Chingshi was not such a fragile Bayat person, but she couldn't help feeling a little worried. Chiba Chingshi seemed to feel her thoughts. He stroked Tsunade's golden hair vigorously and said with a smile. 
What are you thinking? Don't worry, I'm fine. Although I didn't accept these three children as disciples, I couldn't bear to see them being led astray by Jiraiya. I have to supervise how Jiraiya educates them. Jiraiya pointed at him immediately, and said loudly, Qingxi. You guys are too much, why should I lead them astray? I admit that my strength may be a little bit worse than yours, but when it comes to the quality of a ninja, I, Master Jiraiya, dare to admit that he is the second in the world. No one dares to admit that he is the number one in the ninja world. Tsunade immediately rolled his eyes greatly. She glanced at Jiraiya, and said to Chiba Chingchi with a serious face, this aspect you mentioned is indeed a problem. Jiraiya often reads some messy books now, dot you can also don't let him lead you down. Art. It's art. Do you understand? You two are so sentimental. Ignoring Jiraiya's yelling, Orochimaru said softly, take care, see you Konoha. He turned and left with the remaining ninjas, along with Tsunade. When Tsunade left, he still had a look of reluctance on his face. But there is no way, too many people have been injured in this war. Konoha's medical resources are really not enough. And many ninjas who have suffered particularly serious injuries can only be healed by a few advanced medical ninjas like her. If she went back one second later, the injuries on these people would become more serious. Before I knew it, three months had passed. During these three months, Chiba Chingchi and Jiraiya led Nagato to march in the land of rain while teaching them. Although the strength of the three of Nagato has not improved much, their vision has been greatly broadened. If there is a good teacher to give guidance in cultivation, it will avoid many detours. With the strength of Chiba Chingchi at this time, it is more than enough to teach the Nagato people. Even when Jiraiya listened to some of Chiba Chingchi's ideas, he felt that it was of great benefit to him. Many of Chiba Chingchi's concepts are extremely novel, completely different from the education methods he received in Konoha before. If you are faced with a country that is beyond salvation, but you want to try to save it, what will you do, Yahiko? You can answer this question. Ching. Teacher Chingchi. Yahiko heard Chiba Chingchi calling himself suddenly, and he immediately stammered back. In the past few months, they have regarded Chiba Chingchi as their teacher. So they directly use the four words, Teacher Chingchi, to address him. Chiba Chingchi neither acknowledged the designation nor denied it. I think if it were me, I would look for someone who has a high reputation and great strength in the Kingdom of Rain to help us. As long as he is willing to help us, I am willing to do anything for him. After saying this, Yahiko looked up at Chiba Chingchi cautiously, he didn't know whether his answer was right or wrong. Chiba Chingchi's face was sinking like water, without the slightest expression on his face, he turned his head to Nagato again. Nagato, tell me your understanding. Nagato stroked his chin, thought for a while before saying, if it were me, I would find someone who has a strong influence in the Kingdom of Rain to cooperate with me. If he is willing to help us, it is not impossible for us to work for him. Yahiko and Nagato have similar ideas. In the end Chiba Chingchi turned his attention to Conan. Conan took a deep breath, thought about what Chiba Chingchi told them before, and then she said, I remember teacher Chingchi told us that the real destiny is in the hands of the strong. So if it were me, I would choose to secretly develop my strength and make myself the leader of the situation. Chiba Chingchi gave Conan an approving look. He didn't expect that among the three, Conan could see the situation more clearly, and the one who understood him best was actually Conan. But Yahiko and Nagato are still holding such naive ideas after the fierce war. It's no wonder that in the original book, they were finally taken away by Hanzo. Chiba Chingchi nodded before commenting on their answer just now. Among the three of you, Conan's answer is the best, and although Yahiko and Nagato's approach is slightly different, but the overall meaning is the same, the answer of the two of you is not a. Hearing Chiba Chingchi's affirmation of himself, a red cloud appeared on Conan's face. This is the happiest thing she has ever done. To be affirmed by someone you admire is the greatest joy. Chiba Chingchi frowned, and yelled at the two of Yahiko, how many times have I told you that in this world the weak prey on the strong, the world belongs to the strong, only the strong have the right to speak, and the weak deserve nothing. Have you two ignored what I said before? You can still give me such an answer. Tonight, the training volume of the two of you will be increased by five times. If you can't finish the training, you are not allowed to eat. You are not allowed to rest. 
After finishing speaking, he told Conan again, and Conan, you are not allowed to secretly deliver food to them today. If I find out, if you secretly deliver food to them, I will give them two more training volume double. Conan stuck out his tongue at the bitter faces of Yahiko and Nagato, expressing that there was nothing he could do. Chingshi. Are you too strict with them, they are still young. Jiraiya pulled Chiba Chingshi aside and whispered. Chiba Chingshi turned his head and glanced at Nagato and Yahiko who were training in the distance, and then retracted his gaze. Jiraiya, you have to know that they are different from us, their environment is much worse than ours. Weak strength and overly benevolent thoughts can only harm them in the end, don't you understand this? Jiraiya smiled bitterly. How could he not understand what Chiba Chingshi said? He still couldn't bear to expose the cruel side of this world directly in front of these few children. Thinking of this, Jiraiya thinks that he is actually more suitable to be Nagato's teacher than himself. But I don't know why he clearly taught Nagato the ninjutsu and the principles of life, but he refused to accept them as apprentices. In the distance, a white humanoid creature shrouded in grass took a long look at Nagato and the others who were training. Chiba Chingshi. I will also go back and tell Lord Madara about this matter. He got into the soil and disappeared in an instant. At night, Chiba Chingshi, who was practicing cross-legged in the room, opened his eyes. In his chakra perception, Yahiko and Nagato finally completed their cultivation. And Conan, who was standing aside, has been waiting from the beginning until now. She held several dry biscuits tightly in her little hands. This is what she specially prepared for Yahiko and the others. Originally, she wanted to pass the food in her hand to Yahiko and the others in the afternoon, but Chiba Chingshi had already sent a message, so she naturally did not dare to disobey Chiba Chingshi. Chiba Chingshi in the room nodded and sighed. Lolita is still the cutest. He feels more like he raised a daughter with Conan. No matter what he said, Conan never contradicted him. And sometimes when Nagato and Yahiko don't listen to him, Conan will reprimand them for him. In this way, Chiba Chingshi thinks that Conan is his old father's caring little padded jacket. Nagato and Yahiko's training volume was deliberately tailored for them. No more, no less, just right. It can perfectly stimulate the potential in their bodies without damaging the foundation of their bodies. As long as Nagato and Yahiko train according to his training method, they will be able to lay a good foundation for their future strength. If they can't even bear this bit of hardship, it means that they are nothing more than that. When Chiba Chingchi was their age, their training was much more tiring. With the time fruit, his training volume is several times that of theirs. When others are training, Chiba Chingchi is training, but when others are resting, Chiba Chingchi is still training. That's why Chiba Chingchi has the strength it has today. He believed that even without the system and the help of time fruit, his strength would not be inferior to anyone else. Walk out the door and look at Nagato and Yahiko who are devouring. Chiba Chingchi threw them a small bottle. When you go to sleep, remember to apply it on the sore muscles all over the body, so that you will recover faster. Seeing that Chiba Chingchi was still awake, the three of them felt a little warmth in their hearts. They knew that Chiba Chingchi was also watching them from beginning to end. But the next sentence sent them from heaven to hell again. Only when you recover, can you proceed to the next training. Otherwise, you who are injured, I am embarrassed to deal with you again. Touching his chin, Chiba Chingshi said to the three of them with a half smile. Teacher Chingshi. Dot how about, or take this bottle of medicine back, we think it's too expensive, you should keep it for yourself and use it slowly, we you can wait for it to recover slowly, it doesn't need to be so troublesome. Chiba Chingshi patted the back of Yahiko's head angrily. You boy, you are the one who talks the most. You must put all the medicine on tonight. Get me up on time tomorrow morning and come to the playground for training. If I don't see you after I wake up, hee hee, dot you understand. Yahiko lay down on the ground again with a hopeless face. In an instant, he felt that the cake in his hand was no longer delicious. Waving his hand, Chiba Chingchi said seriously, Okay, I won't tease you guys anymore, what I said was to lie to you, you don't need to train tomorrow morning. The faces of Yahiko and Nagato instantly showed a look of surprise and joy. If it weren't for Chiba Chingchi in front of them, both of them would probably be jumping up now. Only Conan noticed something was wrong. There was a trace of worry on her face. Teacher Chingchi. Dot you, are you leaving? Are you leaving us? 
Chiba Chingshi turned his head to look at the weak blue-haired little girl in front of him, and patted her head pityingly. I have given you all the things I can teach you. The next road needs to be walked by yourself. The world is so big that there is no banquet that never ends. No matter what, the teacher will always be watching behind you. You, I will always be your backing. The three of them were immersed in the sad atmosphere at the moment, not noticing that Chiba Chingshi had already called himself a teacher to them. In the past, the three of them would have been dancing with excitement. Teacher Chingshi, can you not leave? Nagato and I will definitely listen to you. Yahiko ran over and pulled Chiba Chingshi's clothes and said. Although Nagato is not good at words, the meaning in his eyes looking at Chiba Chingshi is the same. Sighing, Chiba Chingshi said, You have your own way to go, teacher, I also have my teacher's way to go, if there is fate in the future, we will definitely meet again. Besides, even if I leave, don't you still have teacher Jiraiya following you? Yahiko pouted, Teacher Jiraiya is so unreliable, he even took me to read some messy books. Thinking of this, Yahiko turned red in the face. After getting along for such a long time, Chiba Chingshi also regards the three of them as his younger siblings. Before I leave, I want to say a few words to you. This is my most sincere suggestion to you. You can listen to it or not, it's up to you. Hearing that Chiba Chingshi was about to tell them their last parting words, the three of them all showed a look of listening carefully. Chiba Chingshi looked at Yahiko. Yahiko is the most free-spirited and sunny one among the three. Yahiko. Although you are kind-hearted and have a free and easy temper, you have a fatal flaw. You are too impulsive and easy to act emotionally. I hope you change this, or you will suffer a lot in the future. Yahiko wiped the corners of her eyes with tears, and nodded emphatically, expressing that she would definitely follow Chiba Chingshi's teachings. Chiba Chingshi looked at Conan again, and there was a trace of pity in his eyes that he couldn't detect. Conan, I don't have much to say about your teacher. You are the one I feel most at ease among the three, so no matter what impulsive things the two of them do in the future, you must remember to think about it for them. Pull them, don't let them act on their own will. After saying this, Chiba Chingshi added, No matter what, if you are bullied in the future, you can always go to the teacher, and the teacher will definitely help you out. When he heard this, Conan couldn't help but jumped up with a, wow. He stomped his face hard on Chiba Chingshi's chest. At the end, Nagato looked at the deep look in Chiba Chingshi's eyes, and his heart began to become tangled. In the past few months of getting along, he can feel that Chiba Chingshi completely treats them as his own relatives, teaching them hand in hand, without any concealment. But I had some precautions against Chiba Chingshi from the beginning to the end, and didn't tell him my deepest secret. When he opened his mouth to say something, Chiba Chingshi had already spoken first. Nagato, among the three, your aptitude is the best, and you are also the one that worries me the most. Those eyes of yours, remember that before your strength grows stronger, don't let others see it easily, and with your current body and strength, there is no way to support those eyes. If you use too much, it is very likely that you will permanently lose your vitality. Zero inches. Nagato's whole body was like a thunderbolt, his mind went blank. Teacher Chingshi has always known my secret. He looked at Chiba Chingshi in shock, and opened his mouth to say something. Chiba Chingshi had already stopped him with his eyes. Okay, Nagato, I know what you think in your heart. The secrets involved in your eyes are really huge. Now your strength can't bear it. When you grow up in the future, you will know. It's right for you to hide the existence of these eyes from me. If someone with a heart knows about your eyes, you may not be able to keep them, and even Yahiko and Conan will be implicated by you. Seeing that the three of them still wanted to say something to him, Chiba Chingshi waved his guilt. Okay, the three of you are still children, and now you are growing up, go and sleep with me. After he finished speaking, he turned around and returned to his room without giving the three of them a chance to speak. The three of them looked at each other, and returned to their rooms with complicated emotions. Another sleepless night. Early the next morning. Okay, you don't need to send me off for 1.2, I'm going back to Konoha now. Don't worry, we will definitely meet again in the future. Chiba Chingshi turned to Jiraiya and said solemnly. Jiraiya, everything is entrusted to you. Jiraiya looked at Konan, who had tears in his eyes, and Nagato and Yahiko, who were obviously not in a good mood, with a distressed expression. You fool. 
Yu did a good job of shaking off the shopkeeper. He complained a few words. At the same time, there was deep envy in his heart. Both are Nagato's teachers and have spent the same amount of time together. But why didn't he get this treatment? Chiba Chingshi treats them so harshly. On the contrary, these three people are obviously closer to Chiba Chingshi than to him. No matter what, the teacher will always support you in whatever you do, so you can do it with confidence. Before Chiba Chingshi left, he glanced at the three of Nagato with a complex expression. I don't know whether the fate of the three will change after his intervention, and whether the future ending will be as miserable as the original book. Hanzo was already dead at his hands. After the three people have been taught by him, both their strength and mind are much stronger than the original book. If the three of them finally move towards the fate line of the original book, then he will definitely make a move. It is estimated that by then, he will not be as afraid of Uchiha Madara as before. In the distance, in a small cave that no one knows. The gloomy candlelight reflected on the wall looked really scary. Behind the wall stood a tall figure like a dead tree. There are several needles inserted into the dead wood. The other end of the needle tube is connected to a very old man with vertical marks on his face. It's just that from his temperament and his vague facial features, it can be seen that the old man must have been heroic when he was young. Cough. Cough. Is that kid named Chiba Chingshi gone? Madara coughed ten times and asked White Zetsu. His health has been getting worse and worse recently, and he has even reached the point where he cannot rely on himself to move. Thinking of this, the corner of his mouth showed a bit of self-deprecating color. He never thought that he, who was once invincible in the ninja world, would have such a weak and desolate day. But one day, one day, I will come back, and I will come back with a weaker tune. Yes, Lord Madara, this Konoha shinobi named Chiba Chingshi has left Nagato and the others, that's fine, after all, he is the terrifying existence that killed Hanzo, and he has always been by Nagato's side, I didn't dare to get too close, or I might be discovered by him. White Zetsu reported respectfully to Uchiha Madara. At the same time, he also admired Chiba Chingshi in his heart. Even in such a long time of his life, Chiba Chingshi's talent can come to the forefront. Among the juniors he has seen, I am afraid that only Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama are more talented than him. After all, these two bear the will of Ashura and Indra. HMPH. What Konoha Kilin, the new pinnacle of the ninja world, the current juniors really don't know about strength, and their strength has really become weaker and weaker in the era when Hashirama and I are not around. Uchiha Madara said disdainfully. Hearing White Zetsu say that Chiba Chingshi is now regarded as the next Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama in the ninja world, his heart is extremely disdainful. He Uchiha Madara is Uchiha Madara, there will be no second same him. And Senju Hashirama has only one Senju Hashirama. He thinks that the ninja world now sees Chiba Chingshi as the next one, which is a complete insult to him. Hashirama. Hashirama. If he didn't listen to my advice, if he didn't forcefully distribute the tailed beasts to other ninja villages, why would there be such trouble now? Gritting her teeth, Uchiha Madara's face showed a few complexities. There is both admiration and hatred, and even a trace of nostalgia. Uchiha Madara will never forget the man he loved and hated. By the way, how is Nagato? Is he still used to the gift I gave him? As Nagato is currently his most important chess piece, he basically puts all his thoughts on him. After all, this is related to whether he can return to the world in the future. Nagato is still very cautious about the gifts from Lord Madara. Except for the most dangerous times, he has never used the power of Rinnegan, but at his current age, he can't control the power of these eyes. Power comes out. White Zetsu said with a smile. However, the people of the Whirlpool clan are really powerful. If they were ordinary people, they would have already died by now. After all, Rinnegan's strength is not something a mere child can bear. Madara leaned on her crutches and tried to stand up. And White Zetsu, who was on the side, saw it and ran over to help him immediately. Turning his head to look at Ghetto statue behind him, Madara sighed. I didn't expect that I would have such a change when I was fused with Hashirama cells. Feng Zibo and Senju's joint Jin Yongran would have such a magical effect. Cough, cough. By the way, I asked you to observe Uchiha, have you found any good seedlings recently? In addition to Nagato, 
I also need to find someone to monitor him, so that the two can restrain each other. Rinnegan's power is still too strong, I can't let accidents happen. Quickly searching through his mind for recent information, Waitzetsu said, the youngest member of the Uchiha family is Uchiha Kai, but he seems to have a very close relationship with Chiba Chingshi. After telling Uchiha Madara all the information about Uchiha Kai that he knew. I saw Madara in front of me slowly shaking her head, he is not the person I want to find, the seeds I need must have strong love or hate, and this person, he does not satisfy this condition. As for what White Zetsu said about how excellent Uchiha Chi's talent is, and his current strength is only a little bit worse than Chiba Chingshi, these are not taken seriously by Uchiha Madara. He himself is the most talented person in the history of the Uchiha 683 family. Only absolute love or hate can help me achieve Project Tasuki no Mi. There is no darkness in his eyes, this is not the person I want to find, wait, I feel that time coming. Madara has a strong self-confidence in her heart. If you can't find this kind of person in the Uchiha clan, then I'm afraid you won't be able to find it in the entire ninja world. The Uchiha clan is a cursed clan. Uchiha Madara touched his right eye. Hashirama. I'll show you that I'm right. Only I can lead the whole world to peace, and I can give everyone happiness. Chiba Chingchi who left Jiraiya did not choose to return to Konoha in the first place. After returning to the Land of Fire, he first found a deep mountain with dense forests. After the battle in the Kingdom of Rain, during this period of time he just practiced and sorted out what he had learned recently. System. Choose the lottery. He hasn't had a draw in a long, long time. The things the system gave him now are basically useless with his strength. So he made a special trip to hold back a big move. He didn't draw a lottery for several years just to see if he could get a big prize. Ding. The lottery draw is over, and the reward host will draw a copy of the perfect breathing technique. In an instant, there was a memory of the cultivation method in his mind, as if he was born with these things. Perfect breathing method. What is this? Chiba Chingchi muttered a few words. Sinking his consciousness into his own mind, he has to take a good look at what kind of treasure this is. The name sounds, just normal. After a while, Tianyi Qingxi was surprised. I didn't expect the name to sound so ordinary, but the actual effect is quite awesome. This perfect breathing method comes from another world of high martial arts. The civilization of that world is similar to Chiba Qingxi's previous life, but it is much ahead of Chiba Qingxi's civilization. Everyone practices martial arts, everyone is like a dragon. The people of that world seem to have opened up territories in the starry sky. The rest of every student born is to practice martial arts, apply for the martial arts university, and after graduation, go to the battlefield to plunder resources in the starry sky. This perfect breathing method is the most perfect basic method deduced by the martial gods in the world of high martial arts. It laid a good foundation for the supreme martial arts in their world. It's a pity that the breathing method given to him by the system only has the most basic part. The follow-up advanced exercises were not given to him. After calming down, Chiba Chingchi immediately sat cross-legged and began to exercise according to the formulas in the exercises. With every breath he took, there seemed to be a faint energy gathering in his body in the air. If there are outsiders looking at him at this moment, they will definitely find that he is exuding a mysterious and mysterious temperament at this moment. The whole person seems to be standing here, but it doesn't feel like being here. Chiba Chingchi felt that there was a kind of gentle and violent energy between heaven and earth entering his body. This energy is gradually transforming and strengthening one's own muscles and bones. A sparrow fell from the sky and landed on his shoulder. In the sparrow's perception, the big tree in front of him seems to be a bit shorter and thinner than its surrounding companions. But in its limited brain, it can't think of too many things. He just felt that he was tired from flying and wanted to find a place to take a good rest. And Chiba Chingchi is the closest big tree to him. Accompanied by the ups and downs of each breath of Chiba Chingchi, his breath sometimes roared like thunder and lightning, and sometimes breathed like wind and rain. Sometimes violent sometimes peaceful. He seemed to have become the incarnation of nature. The three of Orochimaru must be jaw-dropping if they were here. Isn't this what they are pursuing so hard, practicing fairy art to become a fairy state? 
It didn't take long for Chiba Chingchi in front of him to enter this state. Chiba Chingchi's heart is quiet at this moment, and he feels empty in his heart. All the troubles and small thoughts in my heart seem to disappear. It is like waking up in spring, singing like summer, falling like autumn and sleeping like sleeping. At this moment, Chiba Chingchi felt that the world in front of him seemed to come alive. His perception of the world became clearer. Clenching his fists tightly, Chiba Chingchi felt that in his current state, he had been greatly enhanced in all aspects of ninjutsu and taijutsu. Fire style. Great fireball technique. He spat out a huge fireball and sprayed it towards the tree trunk in front of him. Chiba Chingchi himself was dumbfounded. The great fireball technique is just an ordinary C-rank ninjutsu. But looking at the scene in front of me like a rain of fire, how can this be the so-called C-level ninjutsu? This power can catch up with some powerful A-level ninjutsu. At this time, golden fluorescent lights appeared on Chiba Chingchi's body surface, it looks like a god in the sky. Not bad. At the very least, the special effect is fully drawn, and it is forced to come up. Taking a closer look at the natural energy in his body, Chiba Chingchi felt that this might be what they called Sage Mode. It's just that his Sage Mode is the same as Senju Hashirama, and it's a school of its own. You can enter this state by yourself without the help of the Three Holy Lands. Hashirama already has a Sage Body, so it is natural to need the practice methods of the Three Holy Places to enter the Sage Mode. At this moment, Chiba Chingchi, who has learned this breathing method, also has his own sage body, which is not inferior to Senju Hashirama at all. Only after entering sage mode did Chiba Chingchi understand that the cultivation method of the three sacred lands is completely a tricky cultivation method. Natural energy may be the highest level existence in the known energy system in this world, and chakra is more like a low-profile version of natural energy. Thinking about it, how could mere manpower carry such a powerful and violent natural energy on its own? Among so many people, only Senju Hashirama has practiced sage mode by himself. Even Uchiha Madara cannot channel natural energy into the body by himself. But even without natural energy, Uchiha Madara who has mastered Yin Yang escape is not weaker than Senju Hashirama. If I had eight inner gates on in this mode, what would be the scene? Quote. Chiba Chingchi thought of this on a whim. Just thinking about it, he immediately opened the eight inner gates. Open the door, the door of rest, the door of life, the door of injury, the door of do, the door of seen, the door of surprise, the door of death. Open it for me. As soon as the eight inner gates opened, the golden flame on Chiba Chingchi's body soared tens of centimeters. Standing on the same spot, he even looked like the sun from a distance, making people afraid to look directly at him. Looking at his current appearance, Chiba Chingchi showed a strange look on his face. This is. I have become a Super Saiyan. Now the image of Chiba Chingchi is basically the same as the image of Super Saiyan except that the hair is not standing upright. Feel the state of your body. Now Chiba Chingchi feels stronger than ever, Zhao Lihao. In his previous situation, after opening the door to death, he could only fight for about half an hour at most. But now, I can play all day. This is the line that popped up in Chiba Chingchi's mind involuntarily. Taking a deep breath, Chiba Chingchi threw a punch at the distant hill. Under the fist wind, sand and stones splashed, and birds and beasts frightened away. Only a loud, boom, was heard. The mountain in front of Chiba Chingchi has completely disappeared, only a trace of dust left in the air proves that there was still a mountain here before. This punch is much stronger than before. Chiba Chingchi was also shocked by his combat power at this time. He could smash a small mountain before, but he couldn't directly smash a big mountain into pieces like before. You must know that breaking down a hill is a completely different concept from smashing a hill into pieces. Chiba Chingchi, with golden red flames shining all over his body, stands in the air. After he had just condensed into a primary sage body, he discovered that he suddenly had such an ability. He can already fly freely in the sky. As for why he can fly in the sky, he can't say it himself. It's as if just after he condensed into sage body, he himself has the skill of Grand Master. This seems to be his instinct. With the golden natural energy and the crimson arrogance that appeared on his body after he activated the eight inner gates, the whole person simply stood there, making no one dare to look at each other. 
The creatures around him at this moment don't know where they disappeared. There was no sound around. After another experiment, Chiba Chingchi has completely determined his own strength. At this moment, if you open eight inner gates, add your own sage body. He has completely stood at the peak of cage level. If you add the ability of time fruit. He thought he could even go head to head with six paths level combat power. Thinking of this, Chiba Chingchi couldn't help thinking that 8.30 was going to roar loudly. After coming to this world, he has been trembling all the time just for this day. Even if he is not the strongest existence in the Jonin world right now. But at least few people can cause him any harm. After closing his eyes and feeling for a while, he realized that there seemed to be another extremely powerful chakra in this world. The quantity of this chakra is not much, but the quality is extremely high. There is even a long and profound breath in it. This feeling is like. It's like the feeling Nagato's eyes gave him. Sage of Six Paths. Otsutsuki Yuya. This chakra feels extremely strange to Chiba Chingchi. As if it had a consciousness of its own. It appears to be alive. Chiba Chingchi shook his head and secretly said that it was true. He knew that this ninja world was not that simple. How powerful these ancient monsters were, how could they die so easily? Even if he dies easily, he will exist in this world in another form. Chiba Chingchi didn't even Baya have any contact with Sage of Six Paths at this time. He himself is a visitor from outside the sky, so he is not sure what the attitude of the ancestor of the ninja will be towards him. I don't know if he can see his origin. After exiting the sage body and eight inner gates, Chiba Chingchi immediately shouted in a low voice, time return. Then he saw that his dry and wrinkled skin immediately became plump and shiny again. With the supplement of natural energy, he can't violate the rules of eight inner gates, a physical technique. Eight inner gates completely exploded and overdrawn his own potential once the dead door was opened. The natural energy condensed in his primary sage body is completely useless for the consumption of the eight inner gates. Maybe one day when he can condense into a more complete sage body, he can open the eight gates at will. Now after he opens the door of death, he still needs to use the time fruit ability to help him return to his previous physical state. It's been so long since I've been out, it's time to go back to Konoha. Chiba Chingchi who walked away suddenly thought of something, so he smiled slightly. With a sound of, he he he, strong golden flames rose from his body again. His feet left the ground slowly, and with a, crack, sound, he rose directly from the ground, leaving a bright white skyline in the blue sky. Flying in the sky is probably the dream of every human being, and Chiba Chingchi is no exception. After finally possessing this ability, he had to try to fly back to Konoha no matter what. And not long after he left, he felt the strong and pure chakra around the place where he had just stood for a long time before leaving. If Chiba Chingchi is still here, he must be able to see that these chakras seem to condense into a phantom. The person presented by the phantom has a pair of horns, and the round ripples in his eyes spread out, like the ripples that appear after a stone is thrown into a calm lake. Looking up at the direction Chiba Chingchi left, the phantom slowly dissipated again. It would be great if I had this ability in my previous life. I don't know how much I can save on air tickets. Looking at the rapidly passing scenery below him, Chiba Chingchi said with a self-deprecating smile. However, he also knew that it was unrealistic. Even if he had such an ability, if he showed it in his previous life, he would have been arrested for slice research. I don't know if I still have the chance to go back to the previous world and take a look. In a foreign country, even though it has been more than 10 years since he came to this world, Chiba Chingchi still cannot forget the blue planet in his heart. He remembered that the Otsutsuki Kegaya clan seemed to come from out of space. This world has been able to travel through the starry sky, as long as it is strong enough, it should also be able to travel through time and space. Even the ability of time fruit can be controlled by him, as long as he is given a certain amount of time, he believes that it is not impossible to go to other worlds. After activating the time fruit's ability to fly in the sky, it only took him about an hour to fly back to Konoha. Even he himself was shocked by the speed. This time he came back in a hurry, he didn't have such a breath that many people in the village sensed the first time his aura appeared on Konoha. Third Hokage, who was having a meeting in the office, suddenly exclaimed, this kid Chingchi came back suddenly. No. This speed. 
In third Hokage's perception, Chiba Chingchi was still tens of miles away from Konoha just now. Before he could react, Chiba Chingchi had already entered Konoha. And the other Jonin who had a meeting in his office, after listening to third Hokage's words, all showed a complex look on their faces. These people never imagined that it only took a few years for Chiba Chingchi to surpass them. Obviously a few years ago, he was just a kid who had just graduated from school. When it was known that Hanzo had died at his hands, it took the entire Konoha senior management several days to digest this shocking news. Jonin, who is half of Konoha, has never fought against Hanzo, but he has also seen Hanzo of the Salamander's invincible posture on the battlefield. They never thought that the invincible demigod would fall in this battle. This meeting is temporarily suspended, I want to see Chiba Chingchi immediately. Third generation put down the pipe in his hand, looked around and said to them. As for Chiba Chingchi, he is also undecided at the moment. Chiba Chingchi's strength has surpassed too much before, and he needs to know Chiba Chingchi's attitude and thoughts at the first time. Konoha has an obedient Hitaki Sakumo, they don't need a disobedient Konoha Kilin. Chingchi. I hope you don't embarrass me. Third Hokage said with a sigh in his heart. Sakumo, you stay here, Chingchi is your student after all, you probably haven't seen him for a long time. After letting the other Jonin go, Third Hokage left Hitaki Sakumo alone to wait here with him. Boom. 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 There were three knocks on the door. Come in. After Chiba Chingchi entered, he found that there were only Third Hokage and Banner Sakumo in the office. I don't know if it's Chiba Chingchi's illusion, he thinks that Third Hokage looks much older than before. The dark circles and heavy bags under the eyes have meant that he hasn't had a good sleep for several days. When Hitaki Sakumo looked at him, he just nodded with a smile. There was both relief and other complicated emotions in his eyes. Chingchi, thanks to you in this battle with Rain Shinobi, otherwise we would not have defeated Rain Shinobi with such a small loss. The most important thing is that you killed Hanzo of the Salamander, otherwise Tsunade and Jiraiya may not be able to survive this time. Chiba Chingchi bowed respectfully and said, This is what I should do, Mr. Third Generation, you are too polite. As a ninja of Konoha, I should naturally do my best to make my contribution. After a moment of silence, Third Hokage spoke. Chingchi, when did you have such strength? I didn't expect that even Hanzo was no longer your opponent. This time is completely different from Chiba Chingchi's previous concept when he fought Hanzo in the Land of Rain. Third Hokage knew from the previous information that Hanzo did not use his full strength, and he Chingchi's outstanding feature was his speed. If he wanted to escape wholeheartedly, few people would be able to keep him. But this time it was a life and death fight with Hanzo in the battlefield of the Land of Rain. The most important thing is the ninja tone description from the scene, Chiba Chingchi did not expend much energy after beheading Hanzo. He didn't even have a wound on his body. Coming. Chiba Chingchi did not expect third Hokage to doubt and question his strength so quickly. When he was in Konoha, he spent the past few years under the nose of third Hokage. Third Hokage thought that he had cultivated a Qianlong for his own use, but he didn't expect that this Qianlong had grown up secretly before his eyes. He has become a real dragon that even he has to pay attention to and fear. With the strength of Hanzo of the Salamander, even Third Hokage himself did not dare to say that he would definitely be able to defeat him. But this kind of existence standing at the pinnacle of the ninja world unexpectedly killed Chiba Chingchi. Master Hokage. I have been hiding my strength according to your instructions. Didn't you tell me that Mushu and Lin Feng would be destroyed? You let me keep a low profile, and I am indeed the same maid. Chiba Chingchi looked directly at Third Hokage's gaze, and didn't intend to dodge or retreat. Third Hokage didn't speak, and stared into Chiba Chingchi's eyes for about a minute, as if he wanted to find something. After a long time, Third Hokage spoke. Okay. We have all seen your performance in the country of rain this time, Konoha will never forget your contribution, you haven't been so long, you go back and have a good rest. I will inform you again if there is anything. Quote. Chiba Chingchi still had that faint smile on his face that was hard to see through. Yes, Lord Hokage, I'll step back and rest now. It was about five minutes after he left Third Hokage's office. Third Hokage took a deep puff on the pipe in his hand. Sakumo. What do you think of Chingchi? 
Suddenly, he asked Hitaki Sakumo such a sentence. Chingshi. I think it's only a matter of time before he surpasses me with his talent. He, he is very good. I think Chingle performed extremely well in this war. I dare not say that I would be able to do better than him. Quote. Third Hokage exhaled the smoke from his chest cavity. Sakumo, you know that's not what I'm complaining about. What I want to know is do you think Chingshi has any other ideas? Turning his head, Third Hokage looked at Hitaki Sakumo while puffing on his cigarette. Master Hokage, I don't understand what you said, I only know that Chingshi is my student and he is Konoha's ninja, that's enough. Hitaki Sakumo replied neither humble nor overbearing. Rubbing his temples, Third Hokage didn't have the feeling to continue asking. Okay, you should step down too. Remember not to spread the conversation between us just now. It's good that only the two of us know about it. After closing the door of Third Hokage's office, Hitaki Sakumo looked up and saw that it was already afternoon. It should be time for dinner. Thinking of the newborn child in his family, Jonan couldn't help showing a smile on his face. Day's child was born just a few months ago, and his own son was born soon after. It's a pity that these two children are boys, otherwise maybe the two of them would be a good pair of in-laws. But it's good now, the two of them may become brothers who can talk about everything when they grow up. Thinking of the conversation between Third Hokage and Chiba Chingshi just now, a little haze appeared in his heart. Unexpectedly, after Third Hokage became Hokage, he became less and less transparent. Where did the simple and selfless Sarutobi Hirazan who said he would dedicate his life to Konoha go? The person sitting in that position now is no longer his good friend Sarutobi Hirazan. It was a politician he was totally unfamiliar with, Third Hokage. When he walked to the door of his house, Hitaki Sakumo felt that someone was watching him. When he looked up, he realized that it was Chiba Chingshi who was carrying a bag of things and looking at him with a smile. Sakumo sensei Tsunade is not at home today, and I have no place to eat after I get back. It shouldn't be a problem to come to your house for a meal, right? Taking a peevish glance at Chiba Chingshi, Hitaki Sakumo said jokingly, The dignified Konoha Kilin wants to come to my house for dinner, how dare I not let him in? Chiba Chingshi touched his nose in embarrassment. Feeling that the relationship between himself and Chiba Chingshi is still the same as it was at the beginning, Hitaki Sakumo couldn't help chuckling. Let's go, why are you still standing there? I'll let you taste my cooking today I guarantee that after you finish eating, you might never want to eat the rice cooked by that little girl in Nasho again. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.